Hmm. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Tudor. Hi, Sharon. Uh, whew, sorry, guys, I'm running, a, I was running a little bit behind today. Trying to get there. If, if, if uh, computers and everything will allow me to get there. For some reason, um, here on my iPad, there it went, YouTube was doing an update. <sighs> okay, Let's see if we can get there. Doing an update. Uh-oh, I got a little back talk there. All right. Hi, Daniel, nice to see you. Carol, Randy, Grace, or Dana. Um, goodness. All right. Nice. Um, we got some. We got some nice things this week again. I went um, yesterday to. Let me think. Three estate sales. And four antique stores. Okay, so I started out of, out of my house here about um, six six thirty, and I got home about eight last night. So it was a it was a fourteen hour day, but I got it done. Hi, D Rose. Hi, Mary. Hi, everyone. You have a new person in here. Who? Hi, Effie. Effie boy. No, she spot for me. Oh, I just didn't just didn't, haven't got her moderated yet. Okay, now you are. Um. Hi, Larry. Hi, Shelly. Um, Effie, you should be turning blue. And, you know, I just I just now did it. Real, house, real housewife. Uh, he, he, yeah, she may be new. Um, you may, yeah, she may be new in my channel or in my room, but I, I've seen her... Um, I'm, I'm subscribed to her and uh, I watch her her stuff all the time. She's got some pretty awesome jewelry and stuff. Pretty neat. Sharon C. on my brushes. Um, Sharon C. She should be. Um, Sharon, um, Sharon C, did you have another name before, or uh, am I thinking of somebody else? Well, it looks like she's... Hi, good. Ducky Jones. Oh, goodness. Okay. we got quite a few people coming in. Great. Yeah, sometimes I'm a larker or larker. No, I, I lurk. <laughs> I do a lot of lurking. Um, <laughs> I like to just watch. I like to watch a lot. Um, a lot of other people's sales and stuff. And while I'm like cooking supper or while I'm tagging items or something like that. So um, I'll put somebody on and just run, let them run through their show, give them a thumbs up, you know, and, and, um, Debbie Shaw, hello everyone. Please press the thumbs up. Roxanne, oh, Debbie, question for you. I seen you had some Holt Howard egg cups for sale. Did you sell those on I uh, on Instagram? Roxana, hello. Yes, you have them, and no, you haven't sold them. Mark them sold. I'd like to have them. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's get started. Um, if anybody has any questions, please try to remember to put it in capital letters. Uh, that helps me see it and helps mom see it a little better as well. Um, 
yeah, just uh, if you, I'll send you my information that way you can, um, but you should have my email. My email that you, that De Debbie, that you have is the same one as my P PayPal. So if you want to, uh, if you invoice through there, that's great. Or however, however you accept payment, I'll try to uh, get that done for you. What you going to Oh, there? I will look at that. Uh, Dana, I love Weiss. Uh, I, there was a beautiful set at um, um, an estate sale yesterday I went at, and but they wanted $95 for it, and they weren't moving. Well, that's just it. They're worth that. <laughs> uh, they are, they're great. No tutor, no cat. Yes, we have cats, but you don't get any tutor. <laughs> Debbie Shaw says she has four mugs. Yeah, I have one mug uh, in the sale today, like this. I don't do the mugs, but I, I do um, like the little um, egg cups. Mom has the um, rooster, so I think they're salt and peppers, aren't they? they you know, remember the ones you have in your cup on, on your shadow thing on the wall, your big mm -hmm. one that... They're, they're different colored ones. Yeah. 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 I'm getting the egg cups that match that. Mm. I so, just want to sell my chickens. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> you can sell them to me. Okay. Let's. Uh... D Rose says, what if we want them? <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> uh, well, no. <laughs> Sharon C wants to know how you invoice. Do you wait a few days? Um, I always guarantee my invoices to be out within 48 hours. Usually, if we do the sale today, I send my invoices out. Uh, they'll be out tomorrow night. But all you have to do is let me know when you're able to pay it. It Just because it's there, you know, of course, I'd like it to be paid as soon as possible. But if you get paid on a certain day or whatever, I understand that. I'm not, I'm not a mean person. Uh, so just let me know and well, I'll work with you. I don't have a problem with it. Hi, Kat. Hi, Chicago lady. Judy Bearden says happy fourth. <sighs> Sorry guys. My, my nose is just like itching the heck out of me. <laughs> what does that mean when your nose itches? <sighs> I mean, you're going to get company, but did you say happy fourth oh. back to Judy Bearden? Happy 4th. Mm -hmm. Judy Burton wished you a happy 4th. Oh, well, yes. Everybody, happy 4th. Yes, Judy, happy 4th. Um, we, we had enough firecrackers set off last night. Our neighbors decided to have a big party. And they had a big party until about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And fireworks all night. So, yeah, I had my... I, uh, I was a nervous wreck. Calypso. Let's say hi, Mary. Someone's coming with a whole other riches. Uh, D Rose, will you take chickens or cats for trade? Hmm? Mm, <laughs> maybe chickens. Um, cats, you'd have to talk to Tudor. I have two, and I don't want any more right oh. now. <laughs> Effie Boyd says you're going to kiss a collar with a hole in these creatures. Oh. Well, my husband probably has a hole in his britches somewhere, <laughs> uh, but I probably ain't gonna kiss him. I'll tell you. He looked pretty raggy. Well, he though. looked pretty raggy. He was. He's been out working outside, so man, eh, he better take a shower first. So y'all may get, you know, his weekly Sunday shower. <laughs> Hi Sue. Blue flamingo. Hi Blue flamingo. Lori, nice to see ya. All right. As always, we got some really cool items going to get started. And also, I have, um, let me think. She wrote that she was talking about Tudor. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Tudor, Tudor would probably take the cats. Um, and I have some surprise items, okay, um, just to let you know. All right, let's pick a one and get us to pick something out and get started. Ooh. I think I'm just going to do this little piece because I want to set it somewhere where I don't break it because it is not chipped or cracked or anything. 
as of right now. <laughs> it is going to, we're going to start out with an offer up, guys. Um, let me find the little tag because I didn't even want to stick a tag on it. We are going to start out with this piece here. This is the squirrel silhouette. It is, it's just a small glass. It is painted on the back side of the glass. It is not the cardboard cut out under the glass. It is a very old piece. Let me see, tell you how wide it is here. It is about um, four inches or four and a half inches, sorry, across. This is the back on it. It is a really, really old piece. Um, can't tell you exactly how old, but I'd want to say Mm, late 20s, 30s in there. It's really, really neat. It's in really good condition. Um, considering its age, it has um, little squirrels eating nuts, right? There's a little nuts down there. And it's got the little hanger for on the wall about four and a half inches across. We're going to start this one out at $14. It's worth a lot, lot more than that guys, but we're going to start it out at $14. If you're interested, type in 14. How does Sandy not open? Hi, Trisha. Thrifter Junker Finish Hunter. Mm -hmm. Thrifter Junker Finish Hunter. Oh, Misty. Yeah, I couldn't think of Misty. I couldn't understand what you were saying because oh, you were okay. eating something or doing oh, something. Oh, not me. Because <laughs> I got crumbs on my face. And I Elvaris is at 20. Is that what you started with that, madam? So I have Annie at 20. I know you're getting such a glare on it. It's so hard for me to hold it without that darn glare. And if I do it that way, then you get the glare from the picture window in the living room. Oh, Sharon had to have her cat put to get down yesterday. Oh, Sharon, I'm so sorry for that. I know that's a really hard thing. We've had several animals in the last few years that have We've had to do that, and it's, I had a dog for 16 years, and I had to finally let her go because it was, she was suffering. Okay. Okay, we'll so I am going to go type in my sold here, and if no one else is interested, we're going to sell it to Annie for $20. Going once, going twice, and uh, sold. And sold. Congratulations, Annie. Right, exactly. Um, not suffering anymore. I always worried about that. You know, you can't feel what they feel. You can, you can see it in their eyes. Thank you very much. And I will put that on there. Did you say hi to Barbara and Mundo? Hi, Barbara and Mundo. Cricket. Cricket, hello. Um, yes, I have head bases. I'm going to lay that under here, Mom, right like that. Okay. That was the real housewife in Okay. Okay. Uh, 
I am trying to figure something out. I'm missing something. And I don't know what it is yet, but something I'm missing. I didn't take it. <laughs> Mom's like, I didn't take it. All right. Next, we have, are you watching what they're writing? Mm -hmm. Next, we have this anything. little dog right here. It is a little um, Japan piece. He's marked there on the bottom. Japan. Polly projects. Hello, beeps. Hi, Polly. He is. He's, he's a small little thing. He is just over three inches tall and about four inches long from his tip of his toes to the back of his tail. He's twelve dollars. He's in really, really good condition. What's his number? He. I can't tell you that yet. Oh. <laughs> Mom's like, what's his number? <laughs> well, I thought you said it's $12. Though. Yeah, it's $12, and he is number 37. He's got that um, real light blue little spots. I'm trying to think of what I'm... Um, there's a brand that does this colors a lot. Um, a name, I can't think of it. I want to say Laredo, but that ain't right. That's the boots. <laughs> Can't, it's in my head and I can't get it to come out. So it is twelve dollars, number thirty-seven. Y'all eyeballing my cabinet. <laughs> These are some new. There's some really neat new things in there. Did you see anybody on that one, Mom? Mm -mm. Okay. It's a magic cabinet. Yeah, there's a new head base in there. Anna Alvarez wants to know Royal Dalton. Yeah, uh, no, it's 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 L L. Uh, God, I can't think of it. It's two L's right together. Mm. And it's right there, and I can't say it. Oh, D. Rose had told you all that is magic in the cabinet. A new head basis brought it up again. <laughs> yep. Next up is this little girl here. She's standing beside her little, it's a planter. But to me, it sort of looks like she's standing behind it, beside like a large pumpkin or something. Or It's got the leaves coming up out of it. And it is a little, yes, uh, gritty grit. That is right. That's the word, but I can't say it. Ladro, Ladro. Yeah, it's those colors like that. It's that uh, uh, sort of creamy white and that real light blue. I know if I seen it, I could think of it. <laughs> this little uh, gal here, she is $14. No chips, no cracks. She is a uh, made in Japan piece. She stands uh, four inches tall and about four and a quarter inches wide. She'd be great for a small little succulent or something like that. Hey, Katie Sunshine. How are you today? Grace says that's Y-A-D-R-O. Yadro. Yeah, that's how she says it. That's how you say it. $14, number 20. Little side-eyed girl there. I noticed that a lot of these little, little people, little eyes or little animals even are side-eyed like. Really cute little poop, uh, piece there. And like I said, it is um, Mark Japan right there on the bottom. to do and this little set here now these you get both of these in the set just got to get them I got them laying in a dish they there is a tag on it it says um, treasure master bone China Taiwan but it is these cutest little boxers 
the one standing is about uh, two and a half inches long and stands just about two and a half inches tall. And the one sitting is about uh, almost two and a half inches tall as well. These are $14 and they're number 77. And there's the sticker on it right there. And that's the pair. You get the pair of them, $14, number 77. You get both of them. Oh my goodness. I'm having a pain in my elbow just a minute, guys. Mm. Shoot. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Gonna have to get that checked out. Fourteen dollars, number seventy-seven. Mm. Okay. Um. Oh, let's do these. Okay. Next, I have these cute little salt and pepper shakers. Now, this is a, a set I got from that lady. And she, like I said, she had like 1,500 salt and pepper shakers and she numbered. So the little sticker on the bottom is the same number on both of them, but they are her numbering system. I just didn't take the little sticker off yet. <laughs> and they're just really cute. Maria, California wants to know if the pain in your elbow is on the right side. Yeah, it's, it's my arm I use the most. Uh, these are, how tall are they? Four inches tall. They are really cute. And they are $14 for the pair, and they're number 33. <laughs> I, I am. I'm going to have to. It's just getting to the point to where it's almost. Uh, bring tears to your eyes. Um, Fourteen dollars, number thirty-three. Tennis elbow. Yeah, I'm thinking that or uh, corporal tunnel or something like that. Because when I twist, like you know, when you move your wrist and you tw twist it like that, that's when it really it bites. And it's not a good thing. Tennis elbow policy. Yeah. Okay. Next up, I did not put a sticker on him because I do not like putting stickers on this kind of paint. You know, that airbrushed light paint. Um, he Look at that face. He is really, really neat. He is. He does have a sticker on the bottom. A Narco Japan. He is numbered. Right there. Let me measure him out for you. He is um, about five and a fourth inches tall, and he is, oh, I'd say right about six inches long, and um, he's a fat little fox, too. Across the top, he's about three and a quarter inches. This is across the top. He's a little wider through here, I guess, so you can have a bigger opening there. Now, uh, right here... You can see it. I guess when they fired that, because it does not go all the way down into the pot itself. It runs the side, but doesn't go, you know, all the way down in there. And I don't see it in the inside anywhere. So it's just like a little line right there on the top. Um, Hi, Sue. Hi, Nate.
Let's make sure. I'm just sort of looking to make sure I'm forgetting anybody. Um, but uh, let's see. Find him. Fox Planter. We're going to start him out at um, $14. If you're interested in him, type in 14. This is an offer up. So we're going to start him out at $14. Sorry, I had my elbow a little high on the, on the table. Sort of helps a little bit if I put my elbow on the table. Okay, starts at 14. He is really cool. He has, um, the paint on him is, is great. Um, I did not find any chips. Make sure there. Yeah, nope, all manufactured. Um, the, like I said, the paint on him is just awesome. Look at that. He's really nice all the way around. He may have a spot here or there, but nothing, nothing major. Really nice, really nice piece. I have LJ at 14. I should have cleaned my glasses. I got a spot right on my eyes, making it hard to, to read the chat. <laughs> cat you're hilarious <laughs> she'd be grabbing the cats and the owls before we could oh, I'm trying to get my and why is it dogs okay so if, if the only interest I have is with LJ then we're going to go once to LJ Twice to LJ. <coughs> Sorry. <Scummy. laughs> ah. And we're going to sell it to LJ for $14. Thank you, LJ. Oh, sorry, guys. I was sneezing like crazy. Thank you guys. Um, bless you, bless you, bless you. Ah. Let me tell you, my husband has it so cold in this house. My mom is sitting over here in a jacket. <laughs> and I always wear, if y'all notice, longer sleeves because he freezes me out in here. Ah. It's way, way too cold. You're yeah. welcome, LJ. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, we are going to go straight on to this next piece. I, and I know I got a lot of offers up. I had several people this week email me on things wanting them to be offers. So um, so I'm going to make them offers. Uh, Grace said that she would like to have all the English Bulldog items you can find, the old ones. English Bulldogs. What does an English Bulldog look like? Is that like a little French Bulldog? English, I think. Oh, is that the little, um, those little, those little short, fat little dogs, little bulldogs? I can't remember what they look like. Okay, we are going to do this set right here. This is an absolutely beautiful set of beads. Um, the largest bead is on your center strand this one right here and it measures three quarters of an inch angel bourbon hi angel and i didn't say angela this time no you did good <laughs> um, and then they just graduate into different you know all different sizes <coughs> she grace says it's like the georgia bulldog mascot ah yes and then um, on the back, you have your three-strand holder there. 
and it has the rhinestones in it and you have your hook closure and this is your extra length mm -hmm. um General patent dog. <laughs> General patent dog. It also comes with the matching earrings. Now the center um, glass bead on the earrings match the biggest bead um, in there. They got all the glass cuts of, of around it. It's really pretty cut. And they are marked. Um, da -da -da -da. They are marked Germany. Yes. I think I said Western Germany in the, in the, in the preview, but it, no, it's just Germany. And they have the Aurora Borealis um, on them. They are absolutely beautiful. We're going to start these out at $28. You'll get the set. You'll get the necklace, the, ne the three-strand necklace, and the earrings. Like I said, it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I start out at $28. Now I went to a um, what was that? That I was at the antique store, and you couldn't touch one of these necklaces just in a single strand for less than sixty. And now we got three strands, and just I mean they're just it's just so pretty. The cut on these beads, and some of them are like the diamond sort of diamond shaped beads. But they're round. I don't know what you call that. And Keaton is at 42. They are absolutely. The Rose is at 45. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm going to tell you how long this necklace. Now, when I measure the necklace, I will be measuring it from the shortest strand because that's where your, you know, your length really, truly is. The rest of it is just drape. I have an extra dog here today. My friend, my best friend. Uh, she uh, went to her sister's and um, they left the puppy with me so they didn't have to, they could have fun and not have to worry. And, and the other people bring other dogs bigger than her. And she's just a little black poodle, little, little miniature. Uh, I'm getting 18 inches on just the length of the uh, beads. Andrea at 47, D Rose at 50. Yes, and, and you get the earrings as well. So the shortest strand is uh, 18 inches. Now you also have this rest of this um, extender and the extender gives you another mm, three inches or so, just a little over three inches. So it is a rather nice size necklace that would go on very nicely. Andrea is at 55. And um, then the earrings are uh, right at an inch. And they are really nice too. Like I said, they are marked right here, Germany. And they, um, the stones or the beads do match the earring, the, the, the necklace. It has the sort of the diamond shaped. D rose is 58. Uh, bead and that big um, cut round like it has on the necklace. And the color on them. Your dog setting too yeah well their their family you know when they get together all of them bring their dogs and everything like that but jade is so little um and the other dogs are so big so they didn't want her to get sometimes they get a little trampled <laughs> yes glass they are glass andrew kane is out The, let's see, Grace says glass beads. Yes, glass beads. And I did, I went through my beads, and I guess I sold the, I had sort of a pinkish um, purple color. I guess I've already sold those, but I did find a, a set. I can't remember who asked me about colored glass beads last week. Um, but um, I did find a pair, or a set of amber. LJ had to have her dog put down yesterday, it says. Oh, gosh darn it. Hi, Dean. I don't know. 
really see anybody else. Okay, so we have D Rose at 58. Yes. And I think it was her and Andrea bidding. So, so we're going to go once to D Rose for 58. Going twice. And we were gonna sell that to D Rose for fifty-eight dollars. Um, thank you very much, D Rose. And also, it is number five if you need a number for that. And let me lay the earrings here with it. I'm gonna set that right there. That's all right. You can just leave them there. They're okay, right there. Okay. All right. Ouch. Let's see if I can make it through this. I might have to take some time and all. Um. Did I miss anything here? Let me see. Hi, Dean. All right. I am going to go ahead, and we're going to do the first head base. Like I said, it'll be an offer up. This head base will start at $65. It is the yellow girl. She is in excellent condition. She is so, so, so pretty. Like I said the yellow is very nice on her. She will start out at $65. She is five and a half inches tall. And from hair flip, that's where her widest point is. Uh, from side to side there, she is right about uh, five, or I'm sorry. Yeah, almost five inches wide, four and a half. We'll call it four and a half. Did you say 60 or 65? 65. Holly said 60, so. She does have her earrings and she still has her original tag on the bottom where they sold her at, um, I can't read the name, it starts with a W, probably Woolworth, and she is a Japan piece and she was a dollar and 59 cents. We'll probably come back in with a 65. Okay. <laughs> I heard wrong. That's okay, Polly. <laughs> Oh, Daddy's coming in the door. They all get excited. I don't get that excited when he comes home. <laughs> Goodness gracious. We have Polly at 65. They're all just following him around like crazy. They think he's going to drop something. <laughs> they think he's going to drop something. I love the colors in her hair, the way they did that all the way around. No chips, no cracks. Eyelashes are excellent. Her lipstick is excellent. So she is in very, very, very good condition. Your dog just went nuts. <laughs> Your grandma worked at Woolsworth? How cool is that? You know, I watched a movie, movie and it was an old, old movie, and the ladies that worked the counters and stuff and sold scarves and hats and, and the makeup and different things. The Rose is 68. Was so, was so neat watching it. And I, I think, it, I think, but that was, uh, that store was, um, I think it was Macy's or something like that. D Rose at 68. Well, his project says it's weird, but the head base kind of looks like me. <laughs> Mom did. We had a Woolsworth in Blueville. No. Mom baby. did. Mom did. We have a Woolsworth. In, no. We had a, um, what was it there on the corner? Five and Dime. Um, Maddenly's. Maddenly's. 
zeros at 74. I don't, I don't think they I may have, have had one in Columbia. Didn't probably they? in Columbia, Tudor. And she is, like I said, she Always is... Always at 75. She is very, very nice on the inside as well. I, know, I just thought she was so, so pretty. Had Probably to have her. Had, had to have her. We have to be really careful. I went to a uh, antique store slash new items store um, yesterday, and um, they had repos on Jesus these. And I don't like that. I don't like, and it's not. Um, you know, how some of these just have the stickers. D Rose fifty nine fifty. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> she, uh, I, I mean, I, I just outright asked the lady. I said, "Are these? These are reproductions, aren't they? They're just. They don't feel the same, though. You know, they look. They look identical, but um, they Follow don't. Follies out. They don't feel the same. Um, did her that was Mattingly's across from the penny store. Yeah, from J.C. Penny's to her, it was Mattingly's. And then Rexall's was down the street. Follies out. So Polly is out. So we're going to get our sold, get, get it ready here. We are with D Rose at 79.50. <laughs> going once, going twice, and we are sold. Okay. I've, I've never heard of. Crest G's or whatever that is. Judy Reardon said that we have one of those. What is it? I never heard of it. Uh, no, we did. We didn't have that store. We had Priors, <coughs> but that was just the people's last name, wasn't it? Yes, that was a drugstore and knickknack thing. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I agree, Debbie. It, 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 like I said, they look just alike, but they were. Little thicker, heavier. They weren't as nice. Uh, I mean, you can't tell, but just by looking at them, you can't. <laughs> fifty or, or seventy-nine fifty Canadian. <laughs> uh, let me find it on here. Right Gracious, here. they have lost two English bulldogs in here this year. So that was the last one. Two weeks later, without another. One. Oh they man, lasted, they lasted less than two weeks without another. One. Them do the repos cost the same because you don't never see those bars. Um, pretty close, yeah. They'll have them marked, you know, pretty close to the price because they want you to think that that's what they are. Judy says that most of the stores turned into the dime stores turned into Kmart and stuff. Yeah, and we had a Mad, yeah, we had Matco, um, before we got, um, what was it, um, Walmart. Thank you very much, D Rose. I put you down for seventy nine. That's what I wrote down. Seventy nine dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> Mom wrote down the fifty cents too. All right, now let me see what else I have next. Oh, I want to do these. Yeah, Tudor, I remember the Matco's turning into places, yeah. But I never hear them right anymore either. Yeah, I never, yeah, I forgot about places. Okay, we're going to do these little doilies here. You're going to get this really, really pretty blue embroidered piece. The embroidery is really nice on it. It's got sort of a blanket stitched, this piece, this here is what I, you know, what's called blanket stitch. And then it's got your crocheted edge on it and then your uh, flowers, your blue and sort of a, you call that, sort of a goldenish yellow um, flower going around it there. It measures 
the it is a 14 and a half by because it's a little longer it's more oval shaped um, 18 14 and a half by 18 this piece is it is in really good condition um, I was trying to think I thought there was one little place yeah was, but it was so tiny we could barely see it <laughs> yeah no it's just a little bitty tiny it's like a where somebody stuck a like maybe a pin on it or something there it is right there I don't know if you can see that or not but it's right here and it is so small it may be after it's cleaned again that sort of close up you know when you press it and, and when it's wet I don't I don't think it's a big issue at all and then you'll get this one here and it is about 10 inches long and about seven and a half inches wide. And then this one matches that one. And it is around and it is about um, nine and three quarters inches round, it seems like. Yeah, nine and a half, sorry. You get all three of them, 14, let me find the tag. What did I do with it? What did I just do with that tag? Oh, there it is. Uh, you get all three pieces, $12, and it's number 82. So you get both the white and this one here as well. $12, number 82. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, really, really pretty really pretty pieces. He's crazy and awesome. LJ for number 82. You really like those LJ. They are much nicer than what they're coming across on the uh, camera here of course, but they're really, really cute. Good pieces. So Okay, I'm going to do a brooch. Now this is a this is a rather large brooch. I'd say it's uh, I was going to guess humongous. it's a humongous brooch. Mom says it is almost three three and a half inches right at three and a half inches across. This is big um, circle. I call it a circle brooch. It is rather large. I think it'd look really cool on the side of a hat. Um, but it is a rather large piece. It is $14. This is back clasp on it. And it is number 49. $14, number 49. And, and it's gold toned gold tone I'm great so I have a lot of big jewelry and I cannot wear <laughs> well, I've got some of it today, uh, Grace. There's some rather large. Uh, um, Peter says you can probably see that thing from space. <laughs> it is awesome. So, I mean, just look at the palm of my hand. I mean, it. I don't have huge hands by any means, but I mean that is one big darn brooch there. I mean, it would be even pretty because that's op it's opened enough here in the center that if you put a small brooch on and then pin this one where it was set over top where you can have one inside the other, that would be so neat. But this one, yeah, this one is a gold tone, though. <coughs> and then next we'll do another brooch. And, of course... It is a big one too. This is the big butterfly. It will be an offer up. 
and we will start this one out at $22. It is from the big uh, top of its wings, the, right here, it is measures right at three and a half inches, and it is over three and a half inches long. Yeah, the girls are talking about those big ones are great for scarves. Yes, for scarves. Oh, that would be really pretty with a scarf. Yeah, really nice size brooch. I'm not really sure of the date on it. I want to say probably 70s. And all the rhinestones are there. There's no missing rhinestones, and they are all glass. What you start him out at? $22 yeah. is the start on this one. I just love it. I think it's so cool. D. Rose says 22. Barbara Mundo says 22. I have D. Rose at 22. I remember <laughs> to be in. Oh, those wings are large enough to <coughs> hold a blanket, Judy Rose says. <laughs> yeah, they're big enough to hold a blanket. You could, you could put one of those really big winter scarves on with it. Andrew King says, can I see the back again? Yeah, I did not find a maker on there. It's a lot of room to put a maker on. It's sort of got that hammered look on the back. Uh, all the um, rhinestones are gold, uh, what is it, foiled-like on the back. Um, I was trying to see if, I just can't find a writing on it anywhere, but it's a, it's a really cool piece. D Rose is at 28. Andrea is at 30. Mm, he popped up after I said that. But the, the stones in it are green and blue. And then you got sort of a tillish colored blue there. Even even has uh, rhinestones right here in the little in um what do you call them? Antennas. Mm. On those little antennas. They're just so little. Dave's at 33. Like I said, it's in really, really good shape. Andrea's 35. And if I can find them, it did have matching earrings, but there was several stones in the earrings um, were missing, so I didn't even put it with it. But I will give them to you if I can find where they're at. That way, if you ever lose a stone, I always keep the earrings. I, I went ahead and took them because I thought, well, if you lose a stone, at least you have some extras to put in your, Andrea, in your brooch. Andrea, said 42. So if I can find the, because I don't remember where I put them. Hopefully I kept them, or at least kept the stones maybe. I don't know, maybe that's what I did. Maybe I popped all the stones out of it just to keep them, just in case, to send with it for extra stones. Maria is sitting on her hands. <laughs> it's a hard one to sit on your hands for. Isn't it? Andrea is at 42. D is at 44. Said it's just right over, right over three and a half inches from top to bottom. And the widest point, it's just right over three and a half. Andrea is out. <clears throat> D Rose is at 44. So if there's no other interest, I'm going to call it once to D Rose for 44. And D, I'll try to see if I can find those extra stones. Uh, if I can't send them with it, I'll, I'll keep looking. And when I do find it, I'll put it in one of your boxes, put a note on it. Belinda must not be here. Nope. I don't see Belinda today. Going twice to D Rose. And we are going to sell it to D Rose. Yeah, uh, I think I've, I think I went ahead and just popped the rhinestones out of the earrings and put them in a little bag. 
I think. Or maybe they're all still together. Maybe I just was dreaming that part. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember half the things I do anymore. But thank you very much for that. It's $44, and it would have been number 48. And this really cute little dish here. Did you have your? Did you happen to have your uh, umbrella? Oh, no. Not umbrella. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah but it's in. The car. <laughs> I got my black your, light. Your black light. I mean, yeah. Thanks, and not your umbrella. It's in the car. Uh, but no, this little dish here, it and it does, guys. It does. It has a lot of that cadmium in it. It. It's probably one piece I've seen that has. I mean, a lot. I mean, really look at that. It's not just at the bottom, it's all the way up through it. So it's a really, really nice, nice piece. It's a little um, daisy and buttons. I did not see any markings on it. If you want it to be an offer up, just type in offer. If not, I'm going to set a price on it. I'm going to look at it one more time and make sure I'm not missing any anything on it. It starts so because to me it's pretty clean. I love the way the handle at the top right here, how that crisscross is there. Toledo Antiques, hello. I think that's David. I think. Yeah, I can't place him. Okay. So we are going to give this a price. It's $14 and it is number 78. I said it, it really has that glow to it. Really, really nice. Oh, that was me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, like I said, it's a really, really nice piece of glass. I want to say Fenton, but I'm not sure. Toledo Antique. Yes, it is David. Nice last word. Ding. It probably goes ding. $14, number Angela Berba. Uh, Angel. I did. I spelled you it. did it again. And I didn't. Every time you. Look, no, you didn't do it last time. Well, Angel got it this time. Angel, mm -hmm. it is yours. Mm. Thank you very much. You got one of Mama's pieces there. <coughs> now, this next piece um, here I'm going to do, it is an offer up. I think this piece is wonderful because you know it would make such a neat neat gift or or keep it either way you, you want but um you know they're oh, what did i do with my lights hang on oh shoot long reach bad arm long reach okay i got it <laughs> it would um make a really really nice um I gotta find the ones I want. Oh, that's Gift yeah, for a wedding. I'm a real. But it is oh, this bad. fairy lamp, and it will come with a free set of lights for it. But look at the. Wouldn't it be a nice wedding gift? Hi, Pamela. For someone. It is Westmoreland. We're gonna start the bidding at $24 on this piece. It does have the milk glass bottom. So we're going to start at $24. It is an offer up. I miss Pamela. I was trying to see if I had any. I don't think I do have any blue lights. Because I think blue lights would look really pretty in it. Nope, those are green. Ooh, those are really green. Um, Did you say hi to Maria? Hi, Maria. 
uh, empty nesting two. These are red. I don't think I have any of the others, but the white ones. So we're going to start this one out. Blue from me. I mean, if you know anyone that's getting married, look at the little dove on the side there. Blue from me. Would be a 25. Would be a, wouldn't that be an awesome gift if you were getting married and you got a vintage Westmoreland fairy lamp, you know, um, for your wedding? I think it'd be cool. <coughs> Vintage conversation, multitasking. Robin Summers. Hi, everyone. Hi, Robin. Hi, Book. Mm, that's the holder. And it is marked. Let me find it. Judy Reardon is going 30. It's in the center down here, guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. It's It's a hard one to see. You gotta hold it just right in the light. Anna Elmer says cake topper. Not Ooh, yeah. Cake and topper. you know, guys, um, like um, these, you can you can find these just the little tops. And if you have a bottom, you can switch out. Like if you didn't want this one on it, switch out uh, to another one. Um, and we had one with strawberries on it. Yeah, we had one with strawberries on it. I don't know who got it. But you can you can switch tops around. Sometimes you can go to an antique store and just find these tops. I've seen them in a lot of places, and I keep thinking I'm going to buy those, and then that way I just sell those, and whoever has the rest of it, they can just switch out the tops for, you know, if you want to change things around. We have Judy Reardon at 30. So if you know anybody getting married, oh, it's a good gift for anybody. Oh yeah, I mean it's just really pretty. But those just remind me of wedding bells. Holly's project says, I'm wishing I wasn't married. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Polly. <laughs> number three, and there won't be a number four. You'd think I would learn my lesson by now. Okay, I don't, um, Judy's at 30. Yeah, I got I Judy at 30 going once. I don't remember who the other Judy was. Going, oh, Blue Flamingo was it? Going twice. Yes. I don't know if she's out or just... Um, I'm, I'm looking. Blue flamingo was the other one. Blue, are you out? If so, I am going to sell it to Judy for thirty dollars. Oh nope. Blue is at blue flamingo is at thirty six. I know there's a lot of lag happening today. I noticed that earlier on Alex's. Uh, on Alex's Excel, uh, on her cell as well. <coughs> Judy's at 40. <coughs> yeah, well, well, she says all of them can be real big grumps. <laughs> yeah. Blue Flamingo is out. Okay. Blue is out. So we are going to go once to Judy for 40. Twice to Judy. We are going to sell that to Judy for $40. Thank you, Judy. That was one of mom's pieces, Judy. I'm going to hand this to you, Mom, so you can set it wherever you like. I, I put the sticker down on the bottom because I don't want it on the and frosted. Yeah, Thank I don't you. want it on the frosted feet. I don't think my arm would allow me to lift that. And then um, there's her lights and everything. <coughs> okay. And I haven't seen Mary Cox today. Mary Cox usually um, likes all my dogs. She usually comes in late to the show or something. I have this little piece here. This little piece, this little dog is $12. He's just a little, um, I call him, uh, he looks like a little Pekingese. Pekingese, there you go. I, I think I wrote pug on the paper because I couldn't think of the word Pekingese. But he is uh, made in Japan. I guess that's what it is. Just a little, a little Pekingese, yeah. Better 
Well, yeah, I could, but I, I think he's got that smashed little face like a little Pekingese. He's a cute one, though. I've not seen, you know, you see a lot of the little terriers and stuff, but this one here is about three and a half inches um, long, and he is almost three inches tall. He's $12. No chips, no cracks. He is in, whoop, almost dropped him. He almost had chips and cracks. Um, he Going is in really, uh -oh, to take my pup swimming. Bye, Tudor. He's in really good condition. The only thing I find on him is right by down his ear right here, there is a little um, manufactured stress mark there, but it has been glazed over. So it is it was done during manufacturing. I don't think it's an issue that it will crack on down or anything like that. $12, number 28. Have fun, Tudor. She's taking Harley. So oh, she's taking all there and making. Oh. $12, number 28. Mary Dugan. Or Dugan. I don't know. Mary Dugan. Yeah, Dugan. Number 28. Thank you very much, Mary. <laughs> Mary Dugan. <laughs> Yeah, I know Mary Dungan. <laughs> I guess that's why I said Dungan. Mary is Dungan. D U G. Dungan. D U N. Dungan. What's Dugan? Dugan. I don't know. How she pronounce it? Guess any way you want to. Whatever you want. Also, call her right for dinner. That's the thing. Yep. <coughs> Congratulations, Mary. Okay, we are going to do the big boy brooch, mom's big brooch. We have 63 people in here. It's probably the best time to do it. Um, now, to let you know right now, guys, this is a outstanding brooch. I mean, there's not a stone missing. It is, look at the sparkle on that. And it's not one of those new brooches made to look old. I've seen several of those. This is an old brooch. I got it at a um, an auction. Um, me and Tudor Treasures in here, my sister, we had went to an auction and we bought every flat of jewelry, except for the the one I slept on and didn't didn't get. Somebody else got it, but we bought every flat of jewelry and um, all the jewelry was very old. We are going to start this pin out at $55. It is, I'm not kidding you, it is excellent. It has a little weight to it. It is very, very pretty. It also has, see how it's dom domes up a little? And these are all glass. This pink stone, the big uh, sort of teardropped pink stone there, it, it is pink and it has like a white swirl that goes through it. Look LJ at the, starts at 55. the back. It is in excellent condition. It is gold tone with Aurora Borealis stones and pink stones. The largest stone in there, the, the um, teardrop shaped stone, it is um, three quarters of an inch. And then your next stone, the very center stone, is uh, a half an inch. And then your next stone is a fourth of an inch. So it has really nice big stones in it. Like I said. You, uh, you don't need Mary's information again, does it? She said no. she sent them. Nope. If I have it, if you sent it. And she's blue. So. <clears throat> no, you're fine. You're, you're fine, Mary. I got it. But it is awesome. It is a truly showstopper. I don't think you will be disappointed at all with it. I know Debbie's stunning, isn't it? You just mesmerized when I look at it. It just, you know, it's just so pretty. All of them are prong set, every stone in there.
Yeah, it, it. You're right, Maria. It is Did absolutely amazing. Said she missed the width on it because she. Uh, it is um, about almost two. Uh, uh, no, nah, I'd say two and a quarter. Two and a quarter inches across. And and then, like I said, it has some depth to it. It's probably. It's a little over half an inch thick. So it's got some depth to it as well. Hi, Melinda. Andrew's at 65. Andrew's at 65. Firecrackers. <laughs> yeah, only five, and it's already, already got some um, firecrackers happening. LJ is out. Andrea, I have you at 65. Is there any other interest in this? If not, I'm going to start calling it. Hi, Julie, AJ Retro. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I, I know I seen Vintage Conversation in here a while ago. Hello. Forgot to say hi. I forget things real easy, though. Hi, Belinda. We are selling the Epic um, pen. It is at $65. If we are going to go twice to Andrea. Got to get my soul ready. Oh, shit. Two and a quarter inches. So it's sixty five dollars, Belinda. If you are interested, you'll need to type in quick because I'm getting ready to sell it. <clears throat> Give Belinda a chance just in case. Uh, it is just so pretty. All right. Well, I haven't seen nothing from Belinda. About the time I say that, Belinda might pop up. <laughs> and we are going to sell it to... Belinda pass. She passed. Oh, okay. I, I've done push sold, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. She passed, she said. Oh, shoot. She came in just before the sold. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she did. So I'd, I'd already pushed it, so... Um, let me find my tag on it because I did not put a tag on it. Congratulations to Andrea Kane, $65. Let me find mom's paper here. You will not be disappointed in that entry. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece. It was Andrea Kane 65. Yeah, mm -hmm. Andrea Kane 65. It is an awesome brooch. Trying to keep my papers in a little bit better order this week than what I have been. Okay, next we're going to do these um, these these photos are from nineteen. I found a uh, they're a grouping. Um, I found a, a date on one of them, and I know they're all the same, but it's just hard to find dates on them from the frame. 
but so I've numbered them all. And they are a CMOS 1938 lithograph um, USA. It's the one I found the writing on. And that little number is just the number because I have five of them. They are really, really cool. And right down here in the corner is where I'm getting the date, guys. It's dated down there in the corner. I can't see that date on all of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. They are all in the same exact frame. So as I, as I show them, look at the numbers on the frame. This one's number one. And if you decide you want it, go ahead and just sort of um, keep a mental note that oh, it is number one. Yeah, well, look, that's the head base. She just come in. And then this one would be number two. I love that tree with the pink flowers on it and the little cottage. The little stream going beside it. And then this one here, also a neat little picture with the little ducks coming up out of the little stream there and the little cottage up on the hill. So that's number three. This one here is um, like the little look into the lake. It's number four. I wish I could get that glare. The glare's killing me. And then the fifth one is a little cottage that looks more like spring. Um, it's the only one also that I've seen there's a little bit of um, yellowing to the to the sky. Or maybe that's just supposed to be like that. The big base did head base. All the big head yellow. base still is so small. deep, but the small one is still going to, we haven't did it yet. It's like a cottage covered with flowers and everything and the garden gate. and It's just really pretty. Are they being sold as a set? Rose wants to uh, they are being sold uh I need to get at least six dollars a piece out of them. Um, so, so they'd start at thirty dollars if you wanted them as a set, or they're six dollars a piece. And they are number. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, here it is. Um, number fifteen. So if you want the set. Rose bids 35. Is anybody else? Uh, oh, Ragdoll is at 45. Oh, they're popping up. Yeah, I, I, I know what I have to have at least out of it. That's just basically my money back on them. But you'd get all five. We are at a price where all five of them can go all together. Ragdoll says 45. So. And they are all in these metal frames. And I absolutely love the metal frames. They are cool. Look at the look at the design around those frames. They're sort of a black and silver, and this is what the backs look like. They got the little tabs here that you can. Is at forty seven, and D Rose is at forty eight. You can hook them on. Ragdoll says fifty. <clears throat> I know in antique stores they usually sell for fifteen to twenty five dollars each one of them. Now they're not large by any means. They are uh, oh, five. Polly's projects says she's by four. And she didn't know they were an offer up. Yeah, it was either going to be if I sold them separate, it was so much each. If they got to a certain price, then they were going to be all of them, because I had to get so much out of each one of them. The Rose says she missed the length and width. Oh, sorry, and I just Ray gave Doll it. is now at fifty. Five. Four by, four by five. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I wanted to give everybody the choice of getting one or all. And I didn't really know how to go about it. That's why I gave them all numbers. <coughs> but if they got to a certain, you know, if I could start them out at a certain price, then I would sell them all together. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, because I know what I have. And, you know, of course, I know I bought them, so I know what I have in them. <laughs> That's crazy to say, isn't it? But, I mean, so I knew I had to get so much for each one or so much for the group. At D, D Rose at 48. No, Greg Dolls at 50. It's the last bid. 
And you said, oh, didn't see it. Uh, Ragdoll is at 50. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, that, that right there makes them about 10 bucks, you know, each. I'm trying to figure out which one my favorite is. I really like this one here with this tree with the pink on it. I really like that. That setting with the lake there and the little house and the tree with the peach. Let me wish this out. Yeah, and they they are all really great. And there's you know there's some of the frames are hmm, like these three all have the same little design on the frame. This one and this one. Polly's at fifty five. And this one, I just think they'd be so cool in a grouping. And then. Um, this one's a little different frame, but it still really goes great with the with the other one. See the design across the top of the frame there, if I can get it in there close enough. And then this one here. Have Polly at 55. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, Mary Poppins when they jumped into the chalk paintings. Z Rose is out. So who else is in here? Polly and Ragdoll. Ragdoll uh, and, Polly, and Polly, I believe. Ragdoll is out, so I have Polly at 55. Going once. Going twice. Ragdoll says she's out. And we are going to sell them to Polly. Polly's uh, number 15. Okay, so A. Is the number on that um, Polly's if you need it. Okay. And thank you very much. And they do have um, glass in them as well. Okay, I'm going to now confuse you even more. <laughs> and, you know, I love confusing people. Let's see. We are going to do the Mother of Pearl buttons. I have four different sets of Mother of Pearl buttons. I'm going to sell them one at a time. Uh, that way I'm, I'm trying not to get too too confusing because they are a little different. Uh, I don't know how many people are, are interested in them. I know I got a couple. I don't see the one person here yet, but she was doing family things to her today too. This is one set, and these are all Mother of Pearl buttons. This is uh, two holes to sew it on. It is the square flat back. But it does have the like the scalloped end on it, and they are all I guess it's not really a square, sort of a rectangle. Michelle Lee, hello to all. I see goals. It is about an inch and a half long. We're starting them at ten dollars. You'll get four of them. Now, if you go online and you look at um, Mother of Pearl buttons. One button can sell for a hundred dollars, depending on what it is or how it's carved. Let's see, we got Michelle Lee. Do you know that one? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start them at ten dollars. You'll get all four of them. Um, a single, like I said, a single button is Judy Reardon says eight ten. And you're going to get all four of them. They do match nicely. They are really good condition. Always with 15.
I have book at 15, not Holly. I have book at, huh? 15. I have book at 15. Is that what you said? Judy started at 10 and then book at 15. Oh, you said Polly. Oh, did I? Well, their names is right close together. <laughs> Probably did, but I meant book. Judy is at 16. You can get all four of them. I mean, is that the buckle? No, that's the square ones. Okay. Well, it should have wrote rectangle, but I called them square. Okay, I got it. But they are so pretty. And I love the sound they make. They give no chips or anything on them. They're, they're very, very nice. I've had these for probably 20, 30 years myself. I'm a button freak. I have a lot of them. Okay, book is at 18. <laughs> Polly says, that's all right. I call you Lily sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, she did. She did call you Lily. <laughs> That's all right. It's still a flower. <laughs> okay, Judy is out. So book we, is high at 18. we have book at 18. <clears throat> Going once to book for 18. Going twice. And we are going to sell that set to book for $18. Just make sure you write the price beside that number and her name. Okay. Yeah. And you just write book. I did. Okay. Now the next set, they are, these are absolutely, like I said, I have collected these and have had them for quite a while. They are all in perfect, excellent condition. There is no chips in any of them that I'm going to show you and they are absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get that too. Also, these will start at $10. These are um, got an awesome carving in them. I don't know if I can show them very nicely. What is it? It's the uh, carved ones. Yeah, I mean, what's the design? It's carved. Uh, I don't know. It's just really got like a. I don't know. It's just, it's just really pretty. Whatever it is, I'm gonna start these at ten dollars. There are three of them. Now these kind of carved ones, I have seen them sell same way. Um, like 65 for a single one. Um, and then I've seen them sell for 25 for a single one. They are yeah, you can about one and a eighth inches wide. Mm -hmm. So one and an eighth inch wide. Can you see that? Yeah, the carving shows up real good. Good. It's hard to. And you will get all three of them, and they are all in absolutely perfect condition. I love Mother of Pearl. <coughs> well, there's somebody coming in. We may have a surprise guest in a little bit. <clears throat> Jade's mama may come pick her up. My friend Pam. I have book at 10. Yep, mine just now popped up. I'm going to have to refresh. Yeah, go ahead and refresh. Kind of stretch this arm out just a little, little bit. Okay. Classical sold. Hello, how are you? Oh, I, I'm, I'm glad you're watching. <laughs> so we got book at 10 going once. <sighs> going twice. I'm going to sell them to book for $10. Congratulations, book. That is a really good buy. Really, really good buy. Hey again, everyone. Happy fourth of all. Oh, Calypso Cat. Cat, cat, cat. Kitty cat. Carrie Candelaro says, my son and his wife with their seven kids came for a week. Seven weeks. They came to your house for seven weeks? Oh, 
Oh, wow. That's a long time to have a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I love my grandkids, yes, but... Yeah. <laughs> no. <Jesus>. Oh. <laughs> then I have a set here. I'm calling it the flower set. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in this set. I'm going to show you. Uh, there's three different ones, and I'll tell you how big they are, too. Um, this one is an inch and a quarter. No, they were there for a week. Oh. Them for a week. oh, okay. That's still a long time. <laughs> Six days too long. So you'll have this one right there. We're starting them at $10. There's nine of them in this set. And this is what I'm calling the flowers. Because they are carved and look like flowers. This one is an inch and a quarter. And you will get two of those. Judy Verdon says 10. And then this one here is an inch, just a smidget over an inch. And you will get three of those. And they look like little flowers too. Look, has 15. And then the ones I just showed you, these here. I have smaller version of that one as well, and they are about seven eighths of an inch, and you will get four of those. They are all all of them are in really good condition. None of them are chipped or anything like that. How many is there all together? There are nine of them. You'll get four of the small seven eighths. There's four of those total. Judy said 20. This one here is just a smidge over an inch. You will get... Yes, Polly, it's one price for all of one them. One price for all of these, all nine of them. And you will get three like this. This one here is like um, one, two, three, four, six, Ooh. just a little over half an inch. Um, you'll get both of them. And there's nine of them. You get all nine of them. I have Judy Reardon at 20. Is that where we're at? Yes. Okay. Going once to Judy. I think the other bit of the book, I think. I guess that you get all of them. Judy at 10. Yeah, book was the other bit. Going twice to Judy. Book is out. And we're going to sell them to Judy for $20. And that is the flower ones. And you'll get all nine of them. Miss Judy Reardon. $20. $20. Thank you very much, Judy. Now, the last set is four buttons and a buckle. And then we'll be done with these. We'll move on to another, something different. But now these are really awesome. These are very old, okay? Um, that's what these buttons look like right here. You will get four of these. And they are a inch and a half. And just look at the color in that. Have y'all seen the, um, you know, the pictures they do make the buttons? You know, we've seen the ones that they make the jewelry out of, but they also do them with buttons. And they're really pretty done with these buttons. And I have one of those that I will be selling um, that's done all with the, um, they're fr it's framed and everything already. Then this is the buckle. Debbie Shaw, so it should be right back. <laughs> and you see, it looks like there's a little chip right up here. That's not a chip. It is like that on both sides. It's part of the design. There it is over here. 
It's where they brought the, the crisscross, see the lines. You could probably use that for a scarf, couldn't you? Yeah, you could use this for a scarf pull too, yeah. But it is really pretty. The buckle or scarf pull is two inches, starting at $10. Oh, you make button bracelets. Oh, we need to get together, Polly, because uh, you should tell me what you're looking for. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of them. I had two other bags. I don't know what I, where I laid them. I can't remember now. D Rose is 12. D Rose is at 12. It's got some really pretty uh, carved. Book Carving is at fifteen. Too. Judy is out. I have book at fifteen. So the buckle's two inches across, and it is about uh, an inch and a quarter top to bottom. Inch and a quarter top to bottom, and two inches across. These at seventeen. And then these buttons here. There's four of them. And they are an inch and a half. You will get all four of them. And they're all in excellent condition. No chips on them at all. They're not scratched up. They're nice and shiny. And that mother of pearl actually really has a lot of that. If you can see that prism-like uh, opal. Hopefully pearl eyes looking rainbow effect in them. They're really pretty. D Rose is at high, 17. Book, are you still in or are you out? <clears throat> well, these I've already sold. Mm. All right, so we have D Rose at seventeen dollars going once. Book says she's out. Dang it! Dang it! You got a couple sets of them. Sold to D Rose for seventeen dollars. Be right back, dinner ready with Grumpy. <laughs> yeah. I always tell mine when he's grumpy. You know, I can be grumpy too, but you ain't gonna like it. So, okay. We are going to do this. Let's see. Um, I went, what did I do with those? Oh yeah, I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta move a few things around a little bit, guys. Um, I want to get to this piece here real quick. I can. Mm. Ah, there's a lot more stuff sitting on it than what I thought. I'm going to do the magazines. I do have two of them. <clears throat> Tell me if you see Gabby come in. I need to ask her a couple of things. This one here is August 1948. The Red Book. It's got some really neat advertisements in it. It's got a lot of stories in it. Uh, a lot of fashion. Showing a lot of the um, different fashions. And fresh cream deodorant stops perspiration. <laughs> advertisements in it. And then there's some really saucy, like, stories in it. And then I love this one. I had, to, I had to mark this and show you guys this. Housework can make you prettier. Hmm. Girls, I got a lot of housework to do. Housework can make you prettier. What were they filling these women's heads with? 
back in the 40s. But housework apparently can make you prettier. Davis conversation. She says, I have to go do a short family thing. Have a great sale. Thank you. Thumbs up. Martha. Thank mm -hmm. you, Martha. Yes, Martha is her name. Um, let's see. Why you should know about sleep. And it's some, I guess, a story on that. Uh, we're going to start this one out at $15. Um, a love worth everything. There they are sitting by the fire. This one starts at $15. Men wrote that crap. <laughs> book, book. Men wrote that crap. Yeah. We would be a bunch of gorgeous chicks. <laughs> Wings for an angel. Another good story there, I'd say. Nice advertisement on this one. I mean, and it's in really good shape. There's the spine on it there. August 1948. I have yeah. D. Rose at 15. Yeah. And hell, oh, look, Studebaker. A friend of mine's dad had a, a Studebaker and we called it Genevieve. It was green. Oh, is, that, is that the one you're selling right now? Mm -hmm. okay. The red book. I'm selling okay. it right now. D. Rose is at $15. Okay. <clears throat> I may have to take some ibuprofen for you. It's on fire. Yeah, cool yellow car. Going once to D. Rose. Going twice to D. Rose. And we are going, oh, where did that go? Did it go? Sell it to D. Rose. I pushed the wrong button. I'm good at that. Sell it to D. Rose for $15 for the red book. Congratulations, lady. Nice book. And we're going to do the last book here. Now, this is a Cosmopolitan. This Cosmopolitan is... Um, December 1942. Um, a novel of rivalry and love. Revelry. Sorry, not rivalry. Revelry. Ugh, can't say it. It is. Um, just a minute. I gotta find. It is 170 pages. A um, lot of the same story type things, except in this one, in Cosmopolitan, I see a lot more liquor ads. Schlitz. On the back, you have your sailors, and they are enjoying a Milky Way. Starting at $15 for this one as well. It's got 170 pages, a little thicker. Spine looks nice on it as well. Uh, marine landing party. There's a lot of military type things in there. <clears throat> Have D. Rose at 15. There's another liquor ad. There's also a, the Cosmopolitan Family Quiz in there as well. And then Yardley, um, English Lavender and Beauty Preparations. Look at she's got a really cool cat sitting there. And look at that little big bunch of flowers back there. And that old couch she's sitting on. Uh, I, I go and look at the pictures and really go deep into them and try to see all the, everything sitting around them. Cartoons, you know, you got your the cartoons in there. And other stories. What you'll eat in 1943. And it uh, gives you, I guess, lady shopping and different things. Looks like we have D. Rose at 15. I got D. Rose at 15. And I want to type in the word sold. Going once to D. Rose. 
for $15, going twice, and sold to D. Rose for $15. Congratulations, D. Rose. Nice, nice, nice book. Oh, Jay says she's drinking a vodka tonic on her patio as we speak. <gasps> Is she really? <laughs> I am drinking a vodka tonic on my patio as we speak. Girl. Now, I'm going to do a surprise item. Now, I, I, I'm i going to give people time if they want to refresh. It will be an offer up. It is, um, and I'm going to type this in, so if you want to look it up, um, the artist. It is artist signed, and uh, you'd be amazed for what some of his items go for. But I want to see if I can spell his name here. I guess I can't. Dang it. There. Um, why is that not letting me do that? There. And when if you go in to look him up, look up what he does in on his tiles. And they are Jerusalem tiles. Um, okay. I'm going to show them. This is one of them right here. It is framed in the uh, wood all the way around it. It is wrote and signed. This is his name right here. Oh, did I not send it? There. There, I sent it so y'all can see it. Um, it's E right here. E N I. R E B and he did these ceramic tiles but you I should be in there now where you can see how to spell it if you want to go in <clears throat> to eBay or wherever and look up what these sell for that is one of them I don't know the date that he did not date them and this one is the Western Wall In Jerusalem now we're going to start these out and it's going to be a choice so it's going to be for one uh, I'm gonna start them out at $25 if you are interested in them, they some of them, if you've, if you've looked it up, will sell in the hundreds. Um, some of them will sell around $30, $40. But they are absolutely beautiful tiles. They do have some crazing on them. I want to say they're probably 60s, 70s, right in that area. I love the way the people are depicted in them. They are handcrafted in Israel. They are very, very pretty. So if you have, if you get a chance, go in and look at his stuff. Um, just really, really neat pieces. If you are interested in in art. Um, Look his name up. He's got some nice items. Oh, they are D. They are six and three quarters square, and they are about three quarters of an inch thick, and they're both the same size. Sort of trivety size, you know, but they're not trivets. But I guess if you wanted to use them like that, you could, but I wouldn't. Um, now, there is crazing on them. I don't know if I can pick it up in the photo. There's lines of crazing on them. But 
they are so cool. But if you go in and look under his name, you'll see some of the work and it's outstanding. That's why I had to pick them up because they're pretty cool. Yeah, but Michelle says he's a ceramic artist. Yeah. Yes, he is. He's a, he's a pretty awesome artist. So $25 each um, if you are interested in those. And we'll just make them straight $25 each since no one did the offer up on it. Next time you see them, they'll just be $25 each. And they can be number, since they're a surprise, I never write them down, number 55. And Mom, if you want to write 55 on your oh, paper okay. and just write tiles, okay. I'll know what that is. <clears throat> and put $25 beside it. And then write the word each. Yeah, that is a, that's a really, really good price on them. There's enough, there's enough, uh, room left on them that you should be able, if you're a reseller, double or triple your money on them. Hmm. Yeah, they, yeah, they are very spendy book. They can be. All right, let's move to the next piece. And I, I do have another surprise item, but we're going to hold off on it for just a second here. Um, what call do you be? <laughs> Frank Lee, I think she meant. She, she called me D. Oh, down below. She yeah, I, I've seen that. <laughs> I have a sister named D. Okay, let's do a brooch. I have this little brooch here. Um, what did I do with that? Yeah, this one. What is it? It is the dolphin. Oh. He's a nice size. He's coming up out of a clamshell. Like he's got waves of water on both sides of him. Um, he is marked JJ. So he is a marked brooch. It is um, do, 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 about three, just a little over three inches uh, long. And at its widest point, it's about uh, an inch and a quarter wide. He is a really, really cute piece. He is, where'd it go? Oh, I just had that darn sticker. Oh, there it is. He's $12. And he is number 52. He looked really nice on like a, you know, like a lapel. So he is marked JJ on the back right down here. And he is $12 gold toned. $12 number 52. For the dolphin. Coming up out of a clamshell. Very Florida-y like, you know. Mm -hmm. Barbara Mundo. And if anybody's interested in dolphins, I found some um, pretty neat dolphins. They're, I think they're a Nesco. Haven't put them on yet, but um, thank you, Barbara. That will be coming to you. And then I have this cute little piece here too. He's a little mouse. Now his little, is he a mouse? Gosh, I thought it was a it's cat. cat. I'm sorry, it's a cat. It's a cat. It's like a mouse tail. <laughs> but he's got this awesome little tail that um, moves. It's sort of that snake-like. Um, but I guess as you hang him on you, his tail will wiggle. He's twelve dollars. He including including his tail length, he is two and a half inches long and he's about uh, just about a half an inch or so wide. Twelve dollars number seventy-nine. Twelve dollars number seventy-nine. And he has a uh, light blue rhinestone eyes. 
if you can see him or not here. But he's a cutie. Twelve dollars, number seventy-nine. Okay. Now you'll be getting both of these brooches. I'm calling them wishbone owls because that's what they look like to me. <laughs> look like wishbones, but also they look like owls, the, the eyes there. They got that wishbone, like two wishbones laying together, making the ears. You get, the, I have two of those, you'll get them both. They're about an inch and a half long. Um, I remember here. And their eyes do not glow. They are $16. You get both of those. So that is only one piece. $9? No. $8? $8. Yeah. Ah. $8 a piece. But you're getting them both for $16. They're number 54. Really cute. It would be nice on a hat or a oh, pocket. Eyes light up. No. Oh, no. No. The eyes don't light up on this. I do have one coming up that its eyes do light up. Sixteen dollars, number fifty-four. You're getting both of them. And they're about an inch and a half long. <clears throat> now, I, this is another set of uh, salt and pepper shakers. I haven't quite understood this pair yet. Um, they are marked Pier 1, but they also have a Japan sticker. So I don't know if Pier 1 did Japan pieces, I guess, maybe? It's from the lady that had the 1500 uh, or so uh, sets of salt and pepper shakers. So the number on the bottom is just the number she gave it. Um, but it does mark Pier 1. But there's also a Japan sticker there. And that's on both of them. And they are this little fat boy and girl. <laughs> little round. And I mean fat. P-H-A-T. Not F-A-T. Really cute little ones. No chips or cracks on them. They are... About four and a quarter inches the girl is, and the guy is about four and an eighth. His hat just doesn't bow up quite as tall as hers. They are $12, and they're number 32. $12, number 32. Salt and peppers. Salt and peppers. Um, he's got the little holes going around his neck there. And she has them going around the uh, camera, around hers. So it'd be like, Terry is there anything in number, number 32 goes to Terry Candelaro. Those are really cute, Terry. I'm, I'm hoping to, to go back and uh, get some more of her salt and pepper shakers. She only sells a few at a time. She won't let you come to and look at all of them. She's just weeding out the ones she doesn't care for. Oh, no. She's going to get, she's like 90 some years old. Um, <laughs> I think the man told me she was like 94 or 96, something like that. And Some of them need more to her. Yeah, and she's getting rid of them. She just can't take care of all of them anymore, so she's getting rid of some of them. Next, I have this little, I guess, sort of like a little bulldog, Boston Terrier. Maybe she's lonely. She may be. 
and taking a few in at a time gets um, gets her some company. This little dog here is widest point is right about almost. Whoops, I'm trying to get y'all with the ruler again. I'm really bad about that. Um, it's about five inches and he stands just over four inches at the widest point. Is he a terrier or something? Boston Terrier? Yeah, I called him a Boston Terrier. Okay. That's what he looked like to me. Um, he is uh, $12 and he's number 35. Yes, it does, Terry. And wait till you see a creamer I've, I've got, Terry. Oh my goodness. I found this creamer. I think it's, um, I think it's Otagiri. It's a neat one. Terry got number 35. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. It's a, it's a sheep. Big woolly sheep. <laughs> it's a neat one. Um, what are we going to do now? I, I need to do these before um, I break them. So let me look real quick at everything here. Okay. Yeah, I want to do these because I don't want to, I want to lay them over all on the, to the table. This is a set, so you'll get both of them. I can get the sticker off my finger. Oops. And it is these here. These are so cool. I love these owls. And I got some pretty colors. In I them. know, don't they? I mean, I just really love these owls. Look at those eyes. Does their eyes light up? Woohoo! You know what? I don't know. It's a good possibility that yellow. No, dang it, dang it. No, you know why not? They look like they would have lit up. But they do have Japan stickers right there on the back of them. I said you'll get both of them and they are about seven and a half inches tall and we're looking at uh, the widest point right around four and a quarter on them <laughs> aren't these cool 1970s oh yeah these are so cool. Um, I need to find where I have them. I didn't put stickers on them because I didn't want to take any chance. No chips, no cracks. Yes, thanks everyone for the thumbs up. Oh yes, thank you very much. I can use all those I can get. My algorithm, algorithm, I don't even really look at that or care about that too much. But they always send me this thing that says it's not good because people aren't leaving comments on my videos or, or something. And I'm like, mm, I don't care. <laughs> Um, I was going somewhere with this, but now I can't remember. Anyway, um, mom scrolled me off. She's good at that. No <laughs> chips or cracks. The only thing I can see is, um, on this one wing he's missing. I can fix that. It's not chipped. It's just a little rub mark maybe. Um, but mm, Nice, sweet pieces. It's Debbie Shaw's fault. She told me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me. Oh, I know what I was doing now. Sorry. We're going to start these out at $16, and you'll get both of them. If you are interested, type in 16. Oh, check out the niche now. 16. If you are interested, you will get both of them. And we're doing an offer up. Starting at sixteen dollars. <clears throat> I know a lot of people, you know, the comments are important and all that. Um, I don't, I don't know, I don't understand all of it. But sometimes I just go in and say hi or thanks or you know. Randy Hamon, hi. 
you are interested, type in 16. You get both of them. So it's about seven inches tall, a little over seven inches here and there. Lay them to the side, had no interest in those. They're very fragile. They're not heavy at all. They are very lightweight, um, really well made. Are they chalkware? Did we show them? No, they're not. They're they're ceramic. Um, but they're they're not thick. See how th the thickness here? They are, you know, sort of got that hollowed effect right here. But and they have the little hangers on them for your walls already. They're really pretty cool pieces and very lightweight we'll see if that's a good idea later yeah, he like said that. well i wish i knew an owl collector i don't guess uh, dean is collecting anymore does well he? dean dean sort of cut back on the owl collecting <laughs> i think he'd bought so many yeah he had a lot of them yeah i know cat collects owls i didn't um oh i'm gonna do this set of birds here Next, we're going to do this set of cards. They are all there. Very pretty velvet um, red. Got the little pool here. All the cards are there. They are in really good condition. Jokers, everything. They are a set of Congress cards. They have the Cardinals and the Western Bluebird in there. <laughs> now I gotta find them. Gosh dang. Oh, they're fourteen dollars for the set. You get, like I said, there's two, two sets of cards, all there, excellent condition. Fourteen dollars, number seventeen. Fourteen dollars, number seventeen. Looks like to this dog. Yeah, a little bit. Well, he's a Boston Terrier. Okay, I'll set those over here. And um, I'm gonna do this little dog here. Oh, almost dropped this little dog. Huh. This little dog is about six and a half inches um, long. And he is right around just a little over three inches tall. Little black and white, little pointer hunting dog. He does have um, the olive leaf, what do you call it, Bra uh, branches, <laughs> uh, mark. Gosh dang it, I can't get stuff from my mouth. Japan on the bottom of his foot. It's $14. He is very nicely made. He's almost feels to me, um, I mean, he's higher end. He's not one of those um, little chalk, or not chalk, but um, pottery, cheaper pottery. This is more of a better filling piece. $14, number 36. Oh, Dana, I can remember living in a home and we had turquoise sinks, toilets, bathtub, refrigerator, stove, everything was turquoise. And that was back in what, Mom? 70s. 70s. And then we moved out of that one, and we moved to another home, and it was pink. Everything was pink. Same thing. <laughs> Thank God we were only renting. Thank God we were only renting, yes. <laughs> Love to have the pink appliances now, though. Yes, the bronze came after that, I think. Didn't we call them copper tones? Copper tones or something yeah. like that, yeah. $14, number 36 on the dog. I'm going to pop through a few dogs real quick here. 
This one here is also $14. And it is, um, I did not find any markings on it, but I'd say it's also a Japan what piece. Do you, what do you have on here? $14. Okay. I want to write it on there. So I don't did I not have it on the paper? Mm -mm. Huh. Oh, I don't. Ah, good thing you said something. I didn't see it. Hmm. Don't know why I didn't. <clears throat> this one here is also fourteen dollars. It's the cocker spaniel. Excellent condition. No <laughs> chips or cracks. And it's number thirty-four. Number thirty-four for the little cocker spaniel. He measures about four inches tall, and back foot to front of nose he's about five inches really cute little dog nice piece there fourteen dollars number thirty four yeah I love all the dogs I I pick them up all the time. Okay, we are going to do if I can find it. Ah, there it is. Linda said they have self-adhesive car carpet tiles in the kitchen. Oh, I was trying to remember. We had some place we lived that had indoor-outdoor carpet somewhere. In the bathroom or something. I was like, mm. I have this little bank. It's a bank. And he's sort of that. Um, he sounds like plaster. <laughs> yeah, he's sort of that. Oh, what is it? Like they make casts out of um, like plastery. I guess that's plaster, right? He's sort of oh, that plastery 70s styled, but. But he's cute. He may be ceramic I don't know but he is a cute one and I love the green and the pink flowers and those big eyes and he is about uh, almost six inches tall and right about four and a half inches wide he's fourteen dollars he does not have his stopper that's what the bottom looks like looks like they tore the paper off here and then he had to stop her there. He does not have his stopper. But guys, a very inexpensive way to get a stopper is at your local Dollar Tree. Sometimes they have banks there. You may not want the bank. But for a dollar, you can get a stopper. Because <laughs> they will have a stopper on them. Melinda well, said when we redid the kitchen, the insulation was newspaper. Oh, wow. Coal. <laughs> This Al, this Al Bank is $14 and it's number 10. $14, number 10. Next, we have this 1970, it's copyright 1973. This is the second edition. It's a 1974 Jell-O book. The New Joys of Jell-O. It also has in it something you can give a friend. And I will leave them in there. There are these little booklets. There's two of them. They're just alike. You can keep one for yourself and share with a friend or keep the book and share with two friends, but they inside of them they have little Jello recipes inside of it as well. And like I said, there's two of those, and they're in really good condition. And you also get the book. The book is um, 128 pages. The only condition I see, and I think it's just an easy little glue back together is the spine is pulling away from the book a little bit there. But I don't know if the book was really used much. And man, them 70s pictures of the family and stuff. Let me see if I can find that. Um, I can remember having these striped shirts like Garanimals. 
kids there. It's got some really nice colored pictures in it and a lot of really cool recipes um, in it as well. It is, what did I just do with it? Now I just had that right, oh there it is. It's $12 and it is number 29 and you get the two little pamphlets that you can share with your friend and you get the book. $12, number I need to refresh real quick. Okay. Um. Oh, dang it. Now, I just seen one of these yesterday in an antique shop, and I was like, I got that. Well, I don't got it. Mom does. It's one of Mom's pieces. But it is this little bear on the stump. He is a planter. He is about eight and a half inches tall, and at the widest point, he is about seven inches wide. I did not see any chips or cracks, and I tried to, the inside. They had just left the dirt, um, I guess, sitting there with water, and it, it had like the big water ring and crusted all around it. But I, I got most of all of that out of it. It's got the three barred, three barred bottom on it. Um, not sure who makes it USA Copley uh, I'm, I'm not really not really sure on it um, but it is sweet little piece I did not find any chips or cracks or anything like that we're gonna start him out at 20 Ooh, let me look and make sure I got that in my head right um, yeah $22 this little guy here was in an antique store yesterday and they had uh, $45 on him. We're going to start him at $22, but of course, you know, it was still sitting in an antique store for $45. So I figured 22. Is your chat stopped? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do y'all still see me? Because <laughs> I'm not sure. Everything just went blank. Hello? So sorry, I missed any comments for me. Yeah, there it came back on. Sue, I thought I made it. Yeah. Now, Debbie Spicer, you have that? Yeah. Okay, then okay. it just came back on. I thought I just lost everybody. <laughs> I mean, it tells me how many people's in here in the room. But, uh, and guys, I'm at 100 or 483 subscribers. That means I'm, what, how many away? 17 away from 500. Woo! September, I'll be September the. I'm trying to think, what was it? I tried to go on and do my first live sale in September and do it and let me, so on the 15th. So I had to wait a few days later. Okay, let's see. And so September, I'll be on, had been on for a year. See me? Feel me? Yeah. I guess she just got right. back in. Okay. So we are selling this little piece here, starting it at uh, $22. Um, and I can't remember how tall it was. I think it was uh, eight and a half. Yes. Eight and a half by seven. Um, okay. If anyone is interested in this little piece here. Carol Max is glad you said that. I just subscribed. Oh, thank you, Carol. 
and we will set this to the side and I write on it or not write on it but write on the tag I just put on it if anyone is interested That's really a cute little piece. Mm -hmm. Now I have this here. This is a darning egg for all you sewers out there. So sewers, <laughs> sewer, seamstress. That's I bet right. sewers. <laughs> that, that just didn't sound right when it came out. Seamstress. <laughs> it is an older uh, antique vintage seamstress sewing darning there I'm looking there I got it darning what? it was in there and I could not get it to come out darning <laughs> egg <clears throat> I'm going to start the offers on it at ten dollars it is a black it is in really good condition for its age. It's in really good condition. Now, I mean, I mean, it does have some scratches and marks on it from where it was used, of course. I'm going to start at $10 on this piece. It is six inches long. LJ says 10. Yeah. That, thank you, LJ. $10. I have uh, my grandmother's. It's red. It's a little bigger, more bulbous around this part up here. Reminds me a little bit more of a maraca, but uh, it's a solid wooden one, and it's a, a red. What's left of the it's red for, on it? It's for darning socks. You put it down in the sock. Yeah, you put it down in the like the sock where the hole is, and then it lets you be able to sew without having to go in and then come back up because you can just work off of the egg part up here itself. It's a pretty neat piece. I have LJ at 10. Ah, how come I never can find that every time I try to type the word sold in. Um, and, and they're really neat in displays and different things too as well. And I guess if you go on long walks and you think somebody's going to bother you, you could carry it with you. Because I tell you, I think it could leave a hurt on somebody. Oh, I think LJ's going to get it. Yep. And we're going to go once to LJ for $10. Twice to LJ for $10. And we're going to sell it to LJ for 10 bucks. Good deal. LJ, the last one I sold on here, a black one, went for $38. You've got a really good buy. Yeah. I know how to darn socks. Oh, no, somebody else had asked it. How do you use it? Robin had to ask it. <laughs> It's a wacky, whack-a-mole implement. <laughs> whack-a-mole. <laughs> okay, next thing we have, let me go ahead and I'll measure it for you real quick. It is about 13 inches tall. And it is a, um, what do they call them, a swung base, I believe. Yeah. A stretch or swung or however you want to call it. It does have the cadmium where it does glow, um, even down around the bottom there. I'm going to start this one out at $24. It's a really, really nice one. It's in really good shape. No chips, no cracks. Starting at $24. It's 13 inches tall. I seen one uh, yesterday when I was at a, a, a antique store. It went at ninety five dollars for it, but now that thing was probably six or eight inches around, and I bet you it stood. It stood halfway up my body. Um, 
it was probably three foot tall. It was cool. It had these fingers coming up out of the top of it and everything. It was really, really neat. This one has the, like the paneled going around it. Small vase. Oh yeah, it was it was cool. And then they had the genie lamps with the real tall and the pointed and the big bulbous bottoms on them. It was they were pretty cool. I don't oh, know. It's summer so I'm at thirteen percent and there's no plugs in the pool. Oh, uh, you in the pool? <laughs> What you started out as? I started out at $24. I don't see any interest in it. So we will move on to higher ground. Higher ground. Oh. <laughs> Robin says, yes, I am. I am in the pool. Next, I have. Uh, Tom, the Piper's son, teapot. He is in excellent condition. There's his little head. His little head and bow tie comes off. He's holding the little pig there. That's where the, I guess the tea comes through. And he's got his little corn in this hand. And the bottom is marked Tom, the Piper's son. On the bottom, <laughs> enjoying it because she's downsizing soon. Patent in USA number forty-four. Really, really cute, cute piece. I don't know, Book. I don't know if Polly's still here or not. I haven't seen her, heard from her in a while. And Grace just got out of the pool. Now, darn it. I want a pool. <laughs> How much, Grace? Said. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I not give a price? I didn't hear you. We are starting it at twenty-four dollars. Oh, Mary, where do you live, Mary? Only sixty-seven degrees there. Twenty-four dollars. Uh, ouch, Dana is where we're starting that at. From the handle over to the spout of the pig, it is uh, twenty-four. It is about eight and a half inches uh, wide at the widest point, and the tallest point he is just about seven and a quarter inches. Upstate New York. Woo! It's well, you know, I would like sixty-seven degrees. I, I like it sort of cool, warm in that area. I would prefer probably around 73 or 4, but uh, I don't know. The other day it was like 100 some degrees here. It's like, oh my gosh. Shiny. Mm -hmm. Ragdoll is at 25. Book is at 27. Ragdoll is at 30. No chips or cracks, guys. All the way around. Excellent, clean, 
condition. I I mean, I didn't find anything. You know, a lot of times the little pig there will be missing the under part of his little lip there. But he, this one isn't. This one is in really good condition. I'm trying to think where I got this one. I got that. I drove about an mm, hour and 15 minutes, I guess, to get this one. Is that an estate sale? Didn't have to stand in line too long. <laughs> <clears throat> book is out so we have ragdoll at 30 <coughs> going once going twice and we are going to sell it to ragdoll Thank you very much. Ooh, that was getting a little heavy on that arm, too. Ouch, sorry. Tie in there. I think I'm going to have the husband bring the chainsaw over and just cut this arm off and quit. <sighs> it's hurting me that bad. Oh. All right. Now I have these little fruit. They are marked Japan. And then I'm going to try and get that number off. I'm just seeing them silly ones with the magnets that they stick together. Oh, oh yeah. And they are stuck together and they're made that way. I, I, I'm going to try to say the word anthropomorphic. That's not an easy word for me to say. Faces on these little fruits. They are orange. They are not red. And it says Geary, Oklahoma on the side there. It's got the five holes here and there. One has a cork, one doesn't. And let me find here. I'm going to stick a sticker on them. They are $14. And they are number 27. And they measure about three and a half inches across. And at the tallest point, they're about two and a quarter inches tall. Yes, congratulations, Rag, on doll on winning that teapot. That is an awesome teapot. <clears throat> Fourteen dollars, number twenty-seven. They have a little bit of, you know, of um, paint loss on them, but for the age of them, that's expected. They are marked, like I said, Japan there. Fourteen dollars, number twenty-seven. I picked up a set of um, another set of salt and pepper anthrop anthropomorphic I think they're apples I think yeah I don't know if Katie vintage and vinyl is here but I have two awesome tins and they will be offered up they will start at twelve dollars a piece you can take one or two however you want to do it um, it does have the, and I think I called it an elk in my preview. I know it's a gazelle. I just couldn't say it for some reason that day. It does have the gazelle there on it. These are old typewriter tins. A little wear to it, but overall, I think it's really cool. Really cool piece. There's that one. And then there are this this one here. 
It is um, that cream and green. It's an excellent condition. It does have the stamp thing there on the back. I start these at twelve dollars a piece. If you are interested, <clears throat> type in twelve, and that is each. The cream and green measures about two and a half inches across and the gazelle one same thing about the same size and you can take either one or two we'll start it at twelve dollars Or an elbow. <laughs> what else did I do today? Uh, um, oh, yeah. Okay, gonna do the next surprise piece. It is a piece of Murano. I believe it to be Murano. Um, it has the um, flakes of the silvery and gold in there. I think it's silver and gold. Some places it looks more gold, some places it looks more silver. Very, very pretty piece. I don't know if you consider it an ashtray with the way that's flipped there. It is really pretty. It's got several different colors on the inside there. It's uh, turquoise and got some red and browns and golden colors, uh, blues. It is very, very pretty. It is about six and a half inches uh, from this side here over to this tip here. There are no chips or cracks in it. And the widest part of it, it is um, about five inches. It does have a really nice clean uh, polished bottom on it just like your Murano does. We're going to start this piece out at $35. If you are interested type in 35. And it actually stands about two and a half inches tall. Size soap dish, yeah. Some of the Murano pieces sort of, yeah, sort of cups in with a little that soap dish look. Now, um, it does have like some of the little bubbles that have popped in here on the inside of it, where they had, I guess, pulled or stretched or molded, not really, not molded, but pulled it to make the bulbous or bowl area on it. Sort of confetti looking or looks like like a flower or something. It's really pretty. Do you write that in at 56? Yeah, it's really pretty. And you're at $35, starting it at $35. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Look at some of this. Let's try to get that there, right there. So it's there like that. I have no interest in this piece. I will put it aside. Ooh. 
little heavy. And I think we'll go ahead. We're going to do that small head base. Where's she at? Right here. This one here. Love her eyelashes. She is in really good shape. The only thing I found with this girl here, she is missing her pearl earrings. But that's so simple to get some little pearls to put in there. She's about three and a quarter inches tall. And across the bottom, she measures two inches. Her eyelashes are excellent. She, her flower on her head is excellent. She is marked in Anarcho Japan 1961 and her numbers are on the bottom. She is in really, really good condition. We will start her out at forty dollars. If you are interested, type in forty. And yes, she has all her fingers, everything. From here, it looks like she's got one missing, but if you turn it, she's just bent down a little bit there. She is in really, really good condition. We're starting her out at forty dollars. If you are interested, type in forty. And the maker design and the beef. But the That's cool, Judy. Right doll, so she missed the description. Is she VGC, whatever that is? What is VGC? In a very good condition. Very good, yes, she's in very good condition, if that's what VGC. <laughs> like I said, the only thing is her, um, see the little divot there on her ear, where her earrings go, she is missing her <laughs> little pearl balls, which is really easy, simple to fix. Otherwise, uh, the ceramic and everything is is excellent. There's, there's down inside of her, no chips, no cracks. Her pink on her dress is very nice all the way around. Right, Dawson, she'll start her at 40. Her eyelashes are perfect. Her lipstick is perfect. Um, <clears throat> I'll put them back on the shelf if there's a chip on them somewhere. I won't. This is the bottom. 1961 the narco her flower is even perfect she's just really she's in really really good condition ragdoll is at 40 and she what did I, I can't remember what I told you a minute ago how tall she is about three and a quarter inches tall and right oh just a little over uh, two inches wide she is really a neat neat piece I don't see many of the little miniature ones often at all like the little scallop she's got some detail there a little scallop on the back of her dress Yeah, D would probably like her. I don't know. If, I don't know if D has any of the miniature ones. I know she's got some of the the bigger size ones from me, but I don't know if she um, she has any of the miniature ones or not. 
nice and clean. She is really good. I'm going to go. D is eating hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said earlier. She had to go eat hot dogs. That does sound good. Ugh, I don't know why. I'm just hungry, I guess. Well, we're going to go once to ragdoll for 40 and get a heck of a deal. Twice to ragdoll. And we are going to sell her to Ragdoll for forty dollars. Thank you very much. Set that one wherever you set the other one. Mm. All right. Okay. Up next, we are going to do this piece here. This is a. Um, yeah, can, I, it does sound yummy, doesn't it? Hot dog. Mm. But I'm out of sweet pickle relish, so. Mm. Next, we're going to do this owl, and it is a, a brooch. Thank and this owl. Yes, I said thank you. Sometimes I've learned to listen. And this <laughs> owl's eyes do light up. So this brooch, it has um, the rhinestones in his eyes that light up when you put the um, black, light. black light on it. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Somebody's got to finish my sentences these days. There you go. She See? says she has a new jar of the brooch. Oh, man. I forgot. I, well, I can't say I forgot because I remembered, but all I could find was deal. So when I went to the next door, then I forgot to look again. The owl brooch is starting out at $22. Like I said, his eyes do glow. He is marked Sarah Coventry on the back. Sarah C-O-V. So he's about 70s with that marking, and it is the like the block lettering on her name, which makes her right around uh, the 70s, late 60s, early 70s, I'd say, on that um, signature on the back. And it does glow. We're starting it out, what did I say, 22, $22. $22, yep. It is... Um, get the size of it here for you. It is an inch and a half tall and just right about right at it right at an inch wide. $22. Precious Lavender button says 22. Precious Lavender is at 22. It's Joanne, right? Mm-hmm. I think, I think um, Precious Lavender is doing a jewelry glowing display. I think she was talking about it the other night. I was like, I like it when you do this. You're like, there it is. And then you click it off and it goes away. And then you can make, they pop back on. <laughs> Walking on switch. I know. It's so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. I have Joanne at 22 going once. Going twice. And we are going to sell it to Joanne. Precious Lavender Buttons for $22. Congratulations, girl. I don't know why I try to reach you with that arm. It's not a good idea. Congratulations and thank you. And then I'm going to do, I don't think I've done this piece here. I have this 
small little dog here. It is marked Japan. It's that little Yardro looking Scotty. paint. Yeah, it's a little Scotty dog. It's not <laughs> Yardro, but it is uh, indent stamped right there on the back. Japan just has that, the colors, that light blue and that creamy white. He's just a cute little thing. I love you can see the texture of his hair and everything. He measures um, about two and a quarter inches tall. And he is about two and a quarter inches long. He's $10 and he's number 38. He's just really cute. $10, number 38. Number 38 goes to Judy Reardon. Well, I have some more pieces of that, um, Joanne, uh, more glowing jewelry. Thank you very much, Judy. I have you for that one. Oh, nice, Barbara. Look at every single blue. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, next I have this piece here. Now, you know, I've sold a lot of these little ashtrays. Um, they usually have dogs on them or clowns or a person or something. I've never seen them with a cat, um, especially a black cat on a mandolin. <laughs> I, yeah, this is a cat on a mandolin. It's got the little place for your cigarette there. It is marked on the back. Made in Japan, it is that luster wear. It's got the orange and the blue on the front. $16. Unless somebody wants it as an offer up, we're going to sell it for $16. It measures about um, right at three inches tall and uh, just right over three and three quarters inches. Sixteen dollars, number thirteen. And he's even got like, look at the he's, his face has got like um, they painted the whiskers in white. So it's, it's really it's really a cool little piece. Sixteen dollars, number thirteen. I was no, I haven't seen Judy. Looks like Binks. <laughs> yeah. Binks in his mischief. Yeah, I haven't seen Judy. I hope she's okay. It seems like uh, here a few nights ago I seen her somewhere, but I'm trying to think where in a cell. I'm not sure. Then I have this little cutie, kitty cat. It is also marked Japan. And he's on like a little, like, he reminds me of one of those stamps. You know how they used to do and you put it down and you rolled it? One of those stamps like that. That's what he reminds me of, but I don't. Like he's on skateboard, he? <laughs> he ain't got no wheels. Oh. He, he ain't going nowhere with that. He oh, is marked water. Japan. <laughs> Maybe it's a surfboard. I don't yeah. know. He's a, He is a cute little cat. Yeah. Cute little cat. <laughs> Cute little kitty. He is about two and three quarters inches tall. And at his widest point, he is about two and a half inches. He's ten dollars and he's number twenty-five. Ten dollars, number twenty-five.
Debbie Shaw for number 25. Thank you very much, Debbie. And then I'm going to sell some pink elephants. They are Japan. This one here. Got his little trunk up. He's not a salt or pepper. He's just a little figurine. He's $10. He's in really good shape. He is about three and a quarter inches long and about two and a half inches tall. He's got his little red mouth there. He got some gold um, embellishments on him. And like I said, he's marked uh, Japan right on his little hiney there. He's $10 and he's number 24. $10, number 24. Good crap, you got. Hi, Jackie. Happy 4th of July. And then I have another little pink elephant. He's sort of reared back up, sitting down on his back legs there. He's also marked Japan. He is about three and a quarter inches tall and about two inches wide. He's $10 as well. And he is uh, number 23. Yeah, how is Ron? Hopefully he's okay. Ron Bond. Oh my gosh, Belinda. So it's not funny. It's a funny story. After starting my computer, we are coming back. Are you okay? I wonder what happened to her. Oh, she doesn't live far away from me. Well, that worries me. <laughs> Do you have somebody there with you, Belinda? Oh, she says she, she says she tore this more. But uh, I see a surgeon for that anyway. <laughs> Sounds like she's okay, maybe. Just mad at myself. Okay. She's okay. Okay. I thought I was going to have to jump in the car. <laughs> what are you, about two and a half hours from me, maybe? Something like that? That's not that far. But if you're hurt, call 911. Yeah, but if you're hurt, don't wait for me. Call 911. <laughs> Got this little dog planner here. Um, I don't know where it's from, but he sort of has got that um, Copley. Copley, yeah, or Copley look to him. Um, he is a cutie. He is in he's in good shape. I don't I don't see or feel anything. The only thing I see on him is that little pinhole right there, and that's just in manufacturing. And it looks like at one point he may have been, you know, a little circle there, it says 69 in it. He may have been 69 cents at some point. Um, he's $14. He's um, five and a quarter inches long. And at the tallest point, he's about four and a half inches tall. It's $14, and he is number 73. 
$14, number 73. get you a button get you one of those one of those call button things old woman button oh mom called her an old woman button <laughs> we all get that <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> it's an alert is what it is yeah an alert button yes gosh dang yeah that's what joanne said So this little this little dog uh, planner is uh, fourteen dollars and it's number seventy three. Fourteen dollars, number seventy three. No chips, no cracks. Really cute piece. Oh, sorry, I couldn't. That arm, I couldn't reach any further with it. Okay, I'm gonna do these real quick. Get these out of the way here. Because I want to be able to start setting things back on over here. I have these two cats. They are, somebody has um, decided to put a little decoration on them, but it's just hot glued on. You could heat that up with a um, an air dryer, a um, uh, blow, dryer. blow dryer. Yeah. Oh, thank, I am so glad my mom's here because I'm telling you, I can't remember words. Um, and that should come right off. It's just been hot glued on if you don't like the little flowers and baby's breath on it. They are sort of that been painted, um, that mother of pearly looking, um, lustry, opalescent, like it is the, I guess, male and female, I don't know, or male and male or female and female. <laughs> who, day, who knows these days? I don't know. They are uh, 12 inches tall and are approximately about four, um, four and a half inches, four and three quarters inches, somewhere right in there across. I'll bet she was hollering she wanted that pink brooch. <laughs> Have you got her up yet, what she said? Yes, I think that might be a good idea. I want that brown. Oh, the owl probably with the glowing eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so I sorry. About that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I can hear her now. I want that brown, Sam. Stop. <laughs> I can't. Well, we got these two kitty cats, 12 inches tall, about four and a quarter uh, wide. And um, let me find the tag on them. You're gonna get you're gonna get them both. They are an offer up, and we are gonna start them out at twenty dollars. You're gonna get the pair. So if you're interested in these, twenty dollars is the um, for offer up. That's the bottom. I didn't see any markings on the bottom. But they're very um, Art Deco looking. They got that luster looking. Yeah, opal that opaly, um, luster like. They're really, really cool. $20, and that's for the pair. I'm selling them together. That's the first, uh, it's an offer up. Well, it started at $20. Oh, God, she would come back in at this time. <laughs> come back. Woo, look at that. Look at those cats. Oh, Tudor's back. Woo. <laughs> no chips, no cracks. Like I said, excellent condition. And those little clusters of, of dried flowers there. And I guess dried, well, satin. I don't know. Um, they can be removed if you do not like them. And you will get them both starting at twenty dollars.
I have Jeffrey at twenty dollars. Joanne is at twenty two. Rose got her purses. She's so happy. Oh no! Yeah, they weren't those purses, D Rose. Weren't they beautiful? The the orange one and the white one. Yeah. The it's really hard. The um, the camera just doesn't do some items justice at all. Melinda's at 25. Jeff, uh, da, 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 yep, Jeffrey is out. But yeah, those purses were, like I said, the, the orange one had never been used. It still had the original paper tags on it, everything. It was pristine. It was nice. Melinda's got it at 25. for another generation she can't bear to take this stuff around. Oh yeah, I don't blame you. Okay, Melinda. Yeah, see precious is in at twenty six. Sorry guys, oh. I can I can only use this one arm. I'm gonna not be able to hold them both at the same time. My arm is just killing me. Melinda's at 27. Precious is out. And Melinda's at 27. I am. I am, Debbie. I've, I've got to. It's just getting... It, it, it's just getting so bad. I can't even, I can't carry anything. I'm afraid I'm going to drop something. But she won't go to a doctor. I'm going to have to. I don't want to. There, I don't, I don't have any good doctors around here. There's a quacker down, down, down the street that told me I had C, uh, what was it? Congestive heart failure or something. I went and had the studies done. They put me on this machine and ran that dye stuff through me, made me feel like I was going to pass out and everything and nothing. They found nothing wrong with me. So they sent me to a pulmonary specialist and nothing. Everything's fine. They didn't find anything. And he told me I had COPD or something like that. Is that right? Me... Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I not push the sold button? Yep. Sold to uh, Melinda for $27. You want to tell me what I do with the sticker on that? I, tell you. <laughs> I don't know. What number are they? Oh, three. There. number three, um, Melinda, you got number three, the cats, both of them, uh, they're, they were 20, so for $27 and they're number three. Congratulations and thank you. Yeah. Um, my husband goes to him, um, and never diagnoses him right with anything and, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't have it. I don't have a use for someone doctor that does that. Oh God, Peter! What? Oh, Peter said she had a cable saw. Hey, I done said I was gonna go get Alan to drain the chainsaw off her. <laughs> you both sound sick. <laughs> All right, next we got this little. Um, <laughs> I was almost called her a frog turtle. This little turtle planner, it, it's, a, it's a homemade piece, it's, but it's really cute. Um, I like the confetti glaze that's on it. And it's just a little piece that you would put a little plan in. You could probably set it outside in your little rock garden or whatever. Um, what around one of your, uh, what do they call them, fairy garden things would look cute. It is about uh, four and three quarters inches long and or tall, and it is about five and a half inches long. And it's ten dollars, and it's number seventy two. What can I say to help? 
looked serious. Someone took care of Daisy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I thought about that, Joanne. Um, Barbara Mundo wants 72. About no. The, no, Effie gets Effie number, gets, number 72, yeah. goes to Effie. Yeah, my picture just popped into this. Thank you very much, Effie. I love that name. I love the name Effie. We had a lady named Effie Garrett when I lived in Fulton. It's just so vintage sounding, you know? I just absolutely love that name. <laughs> oh, Tudor. <laughs> Tudor, you're crazy. The real housewife just got back from taking an epic nap. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Um, got some Shelly cups and saucers. These are awesome cups and saucers. I'm, they're going to be um, <coughs> an offer up. You can either take the yellow and now that I'm sitting here, the yellow looks sort of minty, or not um, minty, but um, but it is yellow. This is the yellow one. It is marked on the back. It is a Shelly. Shelly is really nice uh, chi bone china. Fine bone china, Shelly's England. This is the cup. It's got that scalloped edge with the gold trim and the flowers on the inside also marked on the bottom. Yes, you missed the other head base. Sorry. Who was it? Hmm. The real the house. house yeah, I just, I, we sold it. It went for, uh, went for $40. Yeah, uh, one person bid on it. No one else went against them. And then uh, also have the light blue one with the little flower and it's marked Shelly on the back. You can choose either one. This is the cup on it. They are from the same series, in a but in a different color. So, let's see if I can get this, hold this the right way. It's not as heavy as some things, but, but so we're going to start them at $16 a piece. You can take one or two. They are very, very nice pieces. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the lady that got it will, will she loved, she'll love it. Hi, Mr. L. Page. Happy Fourth to you, too. We got a couple of Shelly cups we're selling right now. It's an offer up, $16. And they are nice Bone China England Shelly's. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right, Joanne. I think that's where I'm leaning towards because also uh, it's like a pinched nerve maybe. I mean, I've had to corporal tunnel before, and it's, it's a little different than that. Oh, cool, Ragdoll. I want to see that. I also got a hip issue, so and I think it's a pinched nerve as well. So it could all be related. Sixteen dollars. You can either take the blue or the yellow. Shelly cups and saucers. These sell for right around uh, forty-five to fifty dollars a piece online. Just to let you know, if you're interested in them, they're $16. We will move on to the next piece. We have a fairy lamp coming up next. Now, precious lavender buttons. 
have precious lavender buttons at 16 on the now that's on the cups and saucers Joanne Yeah, uh, Debbie, the only surgery I ever had, I had C-sections my, with my kids. And, oh, I had sinus surgery. They removed all my soft palate and my little ugula thing back there and rebuilt me a new throat. The Green Owl Bank. No, number 10 has not sold. Would you like to have it, uh, Mr. L. Page, for me, please? Okay. Mr. E. L. Page, would you put the uh, Al Bank over on the other side of the yeah. table? Thank you. Uh, Tudor, Tudor said, Sam, sounds like you're falling apart, but not to worry, I have duct tape. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Tudor's crazy, guys. Mr. L. Page. Okay, we are going to do, this is a Fenton, I believe. Yes, it is marked Fenton on the bottom. And um, I'm trying to see, what I want to see is, there, put it like that. I think my, my life's about, it's a nine. I think it's a nine. Yeah, it's a nine. Okay, this is marked Fenton with a nine under it. It means it came out in the 90s. Uh, so you want the two wall number 10 was the green owl bank mr l page um also take the two owls okay and so you're also gonna he wants those or what's those two owls there too what's the number on it uh da, da, da. just a minute i'll tell you maybe <laughs> Hang on. I, you know, when you got two of something and um, you always pick up the wrong one. Uh, I don't know. Just a minute. I'll tell you. You might find it for me. Uh, or it's number 14. Barbara Armando says, Sam, man, I have the L Bank if it didn't sell. So Mr. L Page has done bought it. Oh yeah, it's it's sold, uh, Barbara. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. L. Page done. He got it uh, up at the top before you. Um, number it was number ten. He 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 asked for it a while ago. And what was the plaque? He asked for it back at six min or uh, six eighteen on my thing. So I don't know. I mean that's Central Time. So I don't know what it would be on yours. But uh, he asked at number ten himself uh, if he wants it. He wants it, please. And then he also asked for number 14 for the um, the plaques, number 14 and number 10, Mom. Gotcha, Mr. L. Page, number 10 and number 14. Hooters. Did you ever figure out what Joanne did the 16 ones? Yes, the cups. Cups and saucers is where we're at. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it straight. Okay. Uh, Joanne, which one of the cups and saucers do you want? Or do you want both of them? Yes. Okay. Both of them. All right. Let me go to the Shelly's and we're going to put Joanne's name on those $16. Okay. For both of them. Yep. Sixteen dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. I got her. All right, now we're all cut up. <laughs> Multitasking here, guys. It works. Cool. All right, so now we're going to the. Uh, did I did not miss anything else? Okay. And, uh, okay. Gotcha. All right, so now we're going to the milk glass hobnail. It is marked with your um, joints. It's what you get in for both teacups. Yep, gotcha. Two treasures. So 
it does have the little oval fitting mark there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me see if I can do this and make you see it. Uh, why, why is my light jibber jabbering like that? It was in tight. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there is the fitting mark in there. I don't see it, but it, it's there. Um, and it's just the, it's just the little, um, fairy lamp. Did you put any marks in it? Uh, just a minute. It is, uh, about five inches tall. Oh, I thought you were handing me those. You want to know nope. Why? I just want to hand it to me. Okay. There you go. Um, and we're going to, oh, I got to let you know, there is one little chip on it. This is what it looks like all lit up. It is so pretty. And with there being this white, um, let me show you something. If I can reach it with this arm. Mm. This arm's going to drive me crazy. I know it. I got to set that down. I want you to see it. Um, let me see if it makes a difference. I think it does. Look at it with green lights in it. It looks like it's glows. Ain't that cute? And, and it's look like it looks like it's glowing, and it's not even uranium glass. But uh, I got green lights in it, so it really makes it look like that. Yes, Tudor, it's a nice piece. You found it for mom. <laughs> Guys, when she comes on and says, "Oh, that's a nice piece. It's wonderful," it's because she's probably found it. <laughs> she's being silly. Um. She's just, she's crazy like that. And then if you put red lights in it, it looks red. Isn't that neat? Here on my glow the green. Okay. <laughs> that, that's what those look like. And you can have, you can either have uh, free with it, whoever purchased it can either have the clear lights, the green lights, or um, red lights. It doesn't make any difference, whichever one you want. Yeah. But I need to disclose real quick though is right don't even know if you can see it right there. It is a very small little flea bite. It, it is so um, small, it's almost not even worth mentioning, but it is there. So I want you to know it. Otherwise, it's in good shape. We're going to start it at $24. $24 is where it will start. You can have whichever color lights you would like. Yeah, that would be, that would, that would be really cool in a, in a baby's room. Just a little light for him to have on. And we're going to start it out at $24. If you are interested, it is a uh, Fenton with a number nine under it means it uh, came out in the nineties. Tudor, you're crazy. Jack, crappy Jackie says 24. It's even got the little flower. I, I like the, the pedestal it stands on. Little flower like bottom on it there. Crappy Jackie at 24. I think it would be really neat. Even at Christmas if you put green lights in it or red lights. Because it does shine through it. It's really pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go once to Crafty Jack. Craft? <laughs> Did I say crappy? Crafty. Crafty, Jackie. Sorry, Jackie. <laughs> For twenty-four. <laughs> the Real Housewives says in your window red light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in your window red light. Um, going once for twenty-four to Crafty Jackie. <laughs> Going twice. If there is no other interest, we are going to sell it to Crafty Jackie for $24. Uh, what color lights you want, Jackie? Crafty Jackie. 
Jackie's is crappy. I know, it I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. And the green lights make it look like J diapers. Yeah, she wants the green. Green? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll get you the green ones. We're gonna lay them. Ah, that's the red ones. These are they are new. I had to pull the little thing out of them to uh, be able to see what color they were, but they they've never been used on anything. The, the lights are all still wrapped up and everything. Here, can you get it? Gotcha. Here, stick that on it. Then I have this little pixie. Last week I think I had one on a bug. I had one on a bug and uh, this week I'm doing this one here on a frog. Oh, Jackie. <laughs> she said it's okay, Sam. Crappy's better than some of the names I've been called. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean it. I did not mean it. This little guy here, we're going to start him out at, uh, I think I started the other one out, $24 last week. And this one here is also going to be $24. It is an offer up. We're going to start $24. If you are interested in him, start him at $24. And then we'll go back to a couple of brooches. And stick around, precious lavender buttons and Belinda. Belinda, are you okay? Are you still out there? Because we have another glowing piece of jewelry. Angel, Angel, Angel. This is 32. I don't know what that is. Is that what you started? I'm mm, starting about 24. Oh. Where was he made? Right, Donald. Oh, I'm sorry. He was made in occupied Japan. Right there on the bottom. Occupied Japan. He's about five inches tall. I also have one. He's on a, uh, a bug. Ragdoll says 40. And he is three inches tall. Um... I think I still have the one on the bug. I don't think I sold it. Mm. Ragdoll is at 40. Yes, Angel, we started bidding. Yes. Yeah. I don't do that start and stop thing. I don't type fast enough or well enough to, to do that. I'm lucky enough to get the, the stop <laughs> in there. And I usually let the bidding go until the last two that are bidding, someone says out. Check that out. Sue, Sue Spezio has a question. Please. Yes, yes, Sue. Let's see. Uh, I have a question. Depends. Um, I think mine are. are there's, I, I buy them by how many lights are on the, the length. Uh, and usually mine have about 20 or to 30 lights on the length. And I, I go to, I go and get the ones, let me show you real quick. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Ragdoll is at 40. Um, Angela is out. So going once to Ragdoll for 40. I buy these that are called bottle lights and they look like a cork. Um, I like them. They're real easy to shut on and off. You can open them up and, and re-get the batteries out and put new batteries in them. But, you know, they're not very long. But um, I go in under wine bottle lights, fairy lights, and I pick mine that from there. I like them. 
the batteries in them to replace them aren't as expensive as the other batteries either. So let me type in the word sold. And we are going to sell them to or it to rag doll for 40. For 40. In, in, and it was number 12. Okay. Congratulations, rag doll. Are you at all interested in the other one that I have? Um, if you still have it. I think I still have it. I don't think it's sold. Which really surprised me. Somebody's meowing. Well, it's a cat at the door. If I open it, there's a cat at the dog will probably try. Well, you make the dog stay back and let the cat's out. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't see. Is Belinda still here? Belinda, are you still here? You okay, girl? Next up is this little, um, it's a porcelain uh, disc that's been hand painted, or not hand painted, but um, uh, transferred has been done on it. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you're okay and to let you know that I do have some more jewelry that glows. I don't want you to miss out again. <laughs> Oh, but at least you're laying down in bed. I'm glad you're okay. This little brooch here, I call it the courting scene. A little piece of uh, porcelain in a gold mount um, pin back. <laughs> Scooter, I am. It's $14. And it's number 47. <laughs> Tudor, you are crazy. This is not a picture of our mom and dad when they were dating. If it is, I have them on a cup and saucer, too. $14, number 47. Oh, my goodness, Teresa Lynn. Ah. She's going to drive me crazy. Okay. Now I have some birds, um, I believe to, they're to Japan. On the bottom, someone has given them to Leonard from Tina on the bottom there. But it is this cute little bird here, a little robin. Really good condition. I didn't find any chips or cracks. The paint on it is excellent. Really nice little little piece. Uh, where is it? It's $12 and it's number nine. $12, number nine. And it stands about uh, five and a half inches tall. $12, number nine. And those, those white places are supposed to be there. Beak's good. Tail feathers are good. Everything is really good on it. $12, number nine. Very funny. Your doorbell's <laughs> ringing. <laughs> you know, I read it and it took me a while. So she <laughs> her doorbell. Uh, uh, yeah, I've been looking, Terry. They're hard to find. I found one, found a little set yesterday, but they went at like five bucks for the little cup and four dollars for the little saucer. And they wanted that for each each one. And I'm like, mmm. Debbie Shaw says, we're making jokes at Belinda's expense, but we still love you, says Joanne. <laughs> yeah. $12, number nine. Okay. Nope. Let me sit over here. We'll stay on that same little track there because I have another one. But it's a tall one. 
and it is marked um, New Orleans, which I believe that one is also New Orleans, uh, Japan, the one I just showed. This one does have its little foil sticker, and at one time it was $1.49. Excellent paint. Love the orange and browns on this. It just says 200. Yeah, but it's it's done up like the New Orleans, or mm. Nor Orleans. New Orleans? Say, yeah. <laughs> New Orleans. I always no. say New Orleans. It's not right. It's all one word, New Orleans. N-O-R-L-E. What did you say? I'm calling them short bird and tall bird. <laughs> That's what I've been calling them. Short bird and tall bird. It is $14. It is painted up really, really nice. The paint is really good on it, this piece as well. $14. And it is number eight. It is about eight and a half inches tall. $14, number eight. It's a, it's a pretty good size, size bird, size bird. <clears throat> Down there. Next piece is this brooch here. It does not glow, but it is a nice little rhinestone and pearl brooch. It's really pretty. Got the Aurora Borealis stones in it. It has all of its stones, all of its pearls. It is in really good shape. I did not find any signatures on the bottom. It is $16 and it measures two and a half inches long. And at its widest point, it is over an inch and a quarter tall. $16, number 53. Sixteen dollars, number fifty-three. Belinda. Yeah, that's a nice one, Belinda. That girl knows her brooches. <laughs> Did you hear, Mom? That girl knows her brooches. <laughs> she buys them. She likes them. Yeah. You got palm over there. Yeah. Okay. Her fingers still strong working. Yep. Yeah. And then I have this little butterfly here. Um, it is, um, I gotta find the tag, where is it at, right here. It is about one and a three quarters inches tall and about one, a little over one and a half inches wide. Thank you, Belinda, I'll take all the love I can get. <laughs> this one here has some really pretty purple stones in it. Uh, sort of purple purple and lilac like stones. It's really a neat little brooch. Yes, Joanne. That fast internet helps. <laughs> yeah. That does help a lot. There's the little clasp on the back of it there too. It is fourteen dollars. And it is number fifty. It's a really, really cute brooch. It's got uh, the glass rhinestones in it, and they are all prong set as well. Fourteen dollars, number fifty. Crafty Jackie wants number. Crafty Jackie said fifteen. Yeah, it's number fifty. Oh well, she came back on with a fifty though. Oh, did she? Mm-hmm. I don't see her. Oh, trust me. It all popped. It mine just went boom, 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 boom like that <laughs> at one time. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, I seen her 15 and 50 come right up under. She was fast. <laughs> yes, she is. Thank you very much, Mrs. Jackie. And then I have. This one here. Now this one is. Um, I wish some. I wish they would have signed it. But it is so cute. It is a wooden brooch that has been painted, been handmade. I love that cat. Look at the expressions on its face. Like it's going. Hmm. I really like it. It's really cute. Got blue eyes, and it is a wood piece. 
It's twelve dollars, and it's number forty-six. <laughs> Melinda says Jackie has fast internet too. Uh, I know. She wrote crappy, crappy Jackie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie, it might stick with you. I did not mean it. <laughs> crappy Jackie says, "Watching what you say, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness, I won't live that one down for a while. <laughs> Twelve dollars, number forty-six. <clears throat> and then the last of the brooches that you've seen in the preview is this one here. The little blue bird. And he has a red rhinestone eye, sort of like a little parrot, like he's sitting on a little branch. He's fourteen dollars. And he's number 51. He's really done well. He's an enamel piece. He's really good. Enamel, uh, paint it, and with the rhinestone eye. $14, number 51. Sarcasm is my love language. <laughs> what was the name of that brooch before that? The cat brooch? I don't uh, know. Wooden, wooden cat. cat. Mm -hmm. What was the number? 46. Right in front of you? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Open the eyes. I was looking over. Um, oh, and then I, I didn't even almost see this piece. Uh, it's in the middle. I have this little kitty cat right here. Um, it doesn't have anything wrote on it. I don't see anything on it. Let me look up under his legs here. Um, I, I know it's porcelain. It's a really nice porcelain piece. Uh, this little cat is right here. He, he or she is about two and a quarter inches long and at his tallest point, which would be his tail. He's two inches tall. It's $10, number 26. And it is a really nice porcelain piece. $10, number 26. Hey, hey. Roxanne for number 26. Roxanna. Is it your mama? Is your mama here? I don't know. Pam's supposed to come by and get her. Daddy, Daddy was coming to get him, take him outside. That's why they were so excited. Oh, oh but she wouldn't go. Oh, she she won't go a lot with a man. So, well, I think she had to pee, but she came over here and got on my leg. Because mm. she decided to hold it. <laughs> okay, Roxanne for ten dollars. Got you number twenty. Jade. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't like the cat I'm holding. No, I have not sold the big circle. I, I, it did not sell. It's fourteen dollars, Carol. If you want it, number forty nine. Just type in forty nine if you want it. It was fourteen dollars. Um, next piece I have is this cute little panda. This is a gobel panda. The small cat. <laughs> Okay, Sam, I guess I'll the dogs and left that uh, Melinda, the small cat, already sold to Roxanna. Uh, number 49 goes to Carol. The circle brooch. Okay. That's what was confusing. Gotcha. Carol. Yeah, the uh, number 26 had already sold. It was the kitty cat, the small kitty cat. Yeah. Hi, Gabby. You're a little late. <laughs> little panda is where we're at. It is marked Goble on the bottom. It's $13. And it is number 19. It is about three and a quarter inches tall. 
thirteen dollars. Hi, Gabby. Number nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, I knew a lot of people would want that one. They, it sells for a lot more than $13 online. Look at all them 19s popping up. Goodness gracious. That should have been an offer. <laughs> $13 on the Panda, and that's number 19. Yep. And it goes to Crafty Jackie. Yep. Congratulations. Okay. And now I have this little family of dogs. Now I paid up for this little family of dogs. The panda bear was thirteen dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thirteen dollars, number nineteen. Well, yeah. you didn't have the top on it or something. I didn't. It looked like it was fifteen. Okay. This little set here. I fell in love with this set and is probably I probably paid more way more than I should have, but um, I loved it that much. So and I, I I just feel like it's worth everything I gave for it and more. This little set right here, it's the little family with the little dogs, and the mama's got the little spaghetti ears. She, they are in excellent condition. Uh, no damage uh, that I could find anywhere on her. I just love her face. She's just the cutest little thing. I'll get some measurements on it for you so you'll know how big it is. She is three and three quarter inches tall. The little guys are about an inch. Hi, Judy's got an inch and a half tall and uh they're about two inches long <laughs> gabby wants to know why crafty's crappy <laughs> i w i was trying to say crafty and crappy came out instead i'm so sorry say hi to judy oh hi judy i didn't see her come in she did come in. so we are doing this little set right here it's in excellent condition. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, it I, I have not found any chips or anything like that. It does, the little this dog there does have an older Japan sticker, a square one. Um, I would want to say sh this little dog's from the, I say the fifties. Um, and all of her puppies are in good shape. No cracks, no chips, no nothing. We are going to do an offer up on this, and um, we are going to have to start her out at. <laughs> My mom just looked at me and went, "Sell them." <laughs> and I'm like, "She says I'm talking too much." We're going to start her out at twenty-eight dollars because I I probably overpaid for. I I don't know. I I, I think she's wonderful. Uh, my mom, if y'all can see behind the scenes, I would love to do a behind the scenes. I wish I had two cameras set up. One behind me facing her. Y'all can see her the way she is. She is so hilarious. Randy is 28. Randy is at 28. Mm. Thank you for getting this show started, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Judy is at 30. Randy's at 33. Yeah, this is an awesome, awesome set family. Be of, careful. <laughs> I know. They are so precious. That's how Rod is, Sam. <laughs> oh, do you get this a lot? Let's go. <laughs> uh, I get it all the time. <laughs> I know I'm a talker. Judy's out. Uh and Randy said 33. And, and Randy said, you're welcome, Daisy. <laughs> oh, yeah. He says, yep. He does that, too. All right. So, uh, 33. Let me get my word typed in here. And my screen just went black, like, twice. Oh. 
Daisy. Terry says she can hear the whispers sometimes. Oh, oh and yeah. I mean them too. Oh, she means them too. She says. <laughs> uh, okay. Quit making my eyes water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got to tell everything about it. Judy says I'm back at 34. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Judy Welcome is back. back at 30, 34. I had just got the type the word sold in. Oh, God, you're all making me cry. <laughs> I know I am. Mom, mom's over here with the tissue. Y'all done got hurt. Mm, that's mom's phone. I had that turned off. Mm -hmm. I told her to turn that off, and you know what? She didn't. Did you? Let me call so you my other sister calls. Okay. Bye -bye. So my other sister calls and she knows that every Sunday that I have a cell, but that's yeah, okay. Well, I used to turn my phone off. Judy is at 36. Randy's Judy. at 38. Judy's at 40. Oh, Judy is at 40. Randy's at 42. <laughs> they said y'all are having a cell on the 4th of July. Heck yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know. The 4th of July, yes, I understand the holiday and everything, but it's not like, you know, Christmas. Well, I might even have one on Christmas. Hell, depends on things. <laughs> okay. Judy says she's really out. Really out this time. Tudor says it wasn't me calling. <laughs> and she has two sisters. Yeah. Tudor and D. Um, so Randy is at 42. Yes, and her and Judy was the ones. Okay, so her and Judy were bidding. So going once to Randy at 42. Going twice. Daisy's taking phone bids. <laughs> <laughs> and we were going to sell it to Randy for $42. Randy, that's number 11 if you keep track for number-wise. You got your, um, let's see, who got the head base last week? That girl head base. Um, jo jo Joanne did, right? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember yesterday. How can I remember last week? Joanne, you got that head base, the girl one. Right? Did it rival? It did it rival? Okay. Thank you too, Randy, very much. I will set it over here because I can break. Oh, she is such a pretty little thing. You're going to really like her when you get her. Oh, she don't is forget just so those cool. things standing behind you, too. What? Oh, oh, I forgot about the linens behind me. Crab balls. Oh, shoot. Did I say that all? Do you have more stuff on the table now? Mm -hmm. No, you're done with the table over there. No, okay. I have these. No, I, I am not done. There's still four pieces sitting there. No, I mean over on the cart. Yes. Good. And you took that before. Yeah. Um, I have these here. Now these are six. I don't think they were ever used. I'd say from the seventies. I don't have a name on them or tags or anything. Um, which is really weird, but they are napkins and there's a set of six of them. And they measure. Oh, Jack, you have three daughters too. Precious, I'm about to say she got her shoes beautiful. Yes, she was beautiful. My goodness. These are about 17 inches on these. And uh, Gabby wants them done as an offer. And let me. I might have already had them set up as an offer. Maybe. Let me look. Yes. Uh, we are starting them out. You get six of them. So We're starting them out at $16 is where I had them started um, and you get all six of them yeah they're all nicely done uh, like I said I don't think they I don't there's nothing wrong there's nothing them. nothing on any of them Gabby's at 20 she's serious yeah they're excellent every one of them Mm 
they are very nice quality too. Really nice. They have um, precious lavender buds is twenty five. Whoops, Gabby's thirty. They have the um, the real tight like satin blanket stitch all the way around them. Um, I don't. I'm trying to make sure none of them are raveled anywhere. I, like I said, I don't think any of them's ever been used. Joanne's at thirty five. Almost like new old stock. Yeah, it's they're awesome. Really awesome pieces. Joanne's up. Gabby's at 40. Mm -hmm. And Joanne's out. And Gabby, let's see. Yep, it was just Gabby and Joanne. Gabby and Now I got Crappy, <laughs> Jackie, and Jabby <coughs> instead of Gabby. Oh my gosh, I am so tongue tied today, Joanne guys. Says they look like Vera. They do, don't they? They really do look like Vera, but I don't see. You know, usually her stuff had her name on it in a little, or, or at least a ladybug, um, but I don't see that. Uh, LJ is at 45. Well, LJ, when did you get in here? <laughs> Mom's like, well, LJ, when did you get in here? <laughs> I didn't see her bid. She's <coughs> right by me. Oh, she's coming in. Jabby loves them right crappy. <laughs> yeah, Gabby is at 50. Jabby. Jabby is at 50? <laughs> yep. <sighs> Tongue tied so bad today. Wow. And they're nice and crisp and everything. I mean, they are ready to rock and roll. They can smell good, I guess. I didn't do nothing to them. Just, they don't have really a smell to them. And I know too. You know, some older linens some can have a you know, smell to them. Yeah. That's what I said. Lurking and eating dinner. I don't remember Judy Joe. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. So let's see where we're at. Gabby, um, LJ is out. So we are going to go once to Gabby for 50. Yeah. Twice to Gabby. And we are going to sell them to Gabby for 50 Sell them to me already, she says. <laughs> oh, and there goes Tudor again. Let's see. Mom, you pick out amazing things. Y'all know what that means, right? It means Tudor found those. <laughs> and gave them to Mom. And gave them to Mom. Thank you, Gabby, very much. Mom appreciates that. Mm. Yeah, I can go to the casino now. Now she says she can go to the casino. Dang, mom's amazing. <laughs> oh, Y'all are so crazy. Okay. Just kidding. No casino. No casino. No. Mm. Now, I have... Thanks, Gabby. I have this little cup here. It is a Holt Howard. The little roosters they do. Mm. It is marked 1961. I just got the um, um, egg cups from Debbie Shaw, but I don't do the cups. And this is a really nice one to have uh, as if you need a replacement cup. It is a Holt Howard. It is $10, no chips or cracks, and it's in really good condition. And it's number 41. <coughs> number 41 for $10. You going out to eat, dear? What? Are you going out to eat? Maybe. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> oh, read your little message from Judy Reardon. What? Uh, Sam, you just have your tongue over your eye tooth, and you can't see what you're saying. Oh. <laughs> Darn, I'm going to try to quit doing that. <laughs> uh, Randy, I got you for number 41. Oh, 
Now, I have two of these. <coughs> Pink or blue. Take whichever one you want. Um, I wrote them down as Fenton. I don't know if they are Fenton for sure, but they remind me of Fenton. I have that Fenton look. I don't have any marks on them. I have no stickers or anything like that, so I hate calling something if I'm not 100% sure. Um, this one has more of like the, po the, the hobnails are more pointed. And then this is the pink one, and it's it's heavier. It's a little bit chunkier piece. So I don't think 100%, I can't say that it's Fenton either, because it just doesn't have that feel, the quality to it, but it has the look. Also, um, the the hobnails are more rounded. And in the it, and this is in the glass. So I just don't think Fenton would do that. Uh, leave those, or I don't know, like when they... When they made it, it's in there, the little black spots. But it's really pretty. I mean, you really can't see those when you set it a certain way. It's really pretty. Um, they're number 44 and they're $14 each. And you can take one or two. Number 44, $14 each. And you can take one or two, pink or blue. Type in 44 blue, 44 pink, whichever whichever one you want. Or if you want to make sure you get one, just type in 44, then tell me which color you want. <clears throat> Crafty Jackie, what color do you like or want? Do you want one or two? They are very pretty. Crafty wants the blue one. Okay, I will put you down for the blue one. And that's 43 on the blue, I think. Well, that's the way I have it. Yeah, I don't know who named it. Anyone else interested in the pink one? The blue one is gone. I'll set that over there. But I still have the pink one. If anyone is interested in it. It's fourteen dollars. Okay. Tudor wants the purple and the green. I don't have no. Oh, there she is again. <laughs> I don't have no purple one, green one. Um. Uh, who was I wanting to talk to real quick? Ragdoll. Um. Were you interested in, uh, if you're still here, were you interested in a pixie on a bug? I did one of those last week and I don't believe it's sold. If you are, email me about it and uh, we'll work out a price on it. It's just like that when they're same size, everything, made in occupied Japan. Um, it on a beetle or something? It was on, it's on a beetle, like one of those, one, those little, be not a, like a, I don't know, we call them Japanese beetles? I don't something know, like something like that. If you're interested, just email me on that one. Now I gotta get those linens off the back here. Um, Precious Lemon Button says we're gonna have to have a t shirt made with crappy fast internet speed. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Okay, I'm going to reach up here and get these real quick, guys, and you'll get to see more stuff in the case, case behind me. <coughs> Now, the first set we have is going to be this red, and I think in my video I kept calling it pink, but it is red. And it's the sheer red, and it has the gold Rick Racky um, across the top and the bottom. It has a really nice long uh, tie, so it should fit many, many people. It will fit me, uh, so that's a, that's a big plus. So, I mean... That's a big plus. <laughs> I need all the space I can get. So you'll get this um, apron. And along with it, you will also get the watermelon 
um, dish towel, tea towel. It has never been used. It is in excellent, excellent condition. Um, let me find us. And what did we have on them, Mom? Um, oh, their offers on this one. Um, we're going to start the offer at sixteen dollars. This one is sixteen inches wide. You get both pieces, okay? For that sixteen, where we're starting it at, it's our offer up by twenty nine inches. Sixteen by twenty nine. Fold it back in the creases. Yeah, I'm gonna fold it back. Mom's like, fold that back in the creases now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, mom. Yes, mommy dearest. So I will fold that back. So we will start at sixteen dollars. You're getting both pieces, the apron and the tea towel, the watermelon tea towel. Very, very nice pieces, and she's wanting me to fold this back in those well, pieces. Why don't you wait till later? I'm telling you, I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, Mom said, just wait, do it later. Um. Joanne, we're going to have some glowing jewelry in a minute as soon as I get done with these two sets of linens here. Okay, you didn't show any interest in those. So we'll put those to the side. And then we have two more tea towels. And these are sold together. And we're going to start them at $16. These still... Uh, these still have their tags, both of them do, right here. And it says, all pure linen except, wait a minute, all pure linen except all cotton stripes. So the stripes are cotton. They are made in Czechoslovakia, okay? So you will get this one, and it has your fruit and everything and your stripes on it. It measures about 20 inches by 30 inches. It's a nice, nice piece, nice size. I'm doing as best I can, Mom. <laughs> She's over here <laughs> shaking her head at me going. And then this one here has fruit and che some cherries on it. And it is basically the same size as that one. <clears throat> Starting at sixteen dollars on that set as well. Um, now, let me find this. I've got a couple of bonus items. Um, Angel, Angel Burbo, it's number six. Uh, which set do you want, Angel? Do you want the one with the apron or do you want the one with the towels? Um, I started them at $16 um, and you're the only one that's come up for them. So if you want either set at 16, you can have them. Just let me know if it's the one with the apron or not. Just the towels. Okay. See, my, my didn't come up yet. So she wants the two of tea towels. It's number 76 okay. mom, for $16. And it's Angel mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Angel. Got you for that. <laughs> okay. Um, I have actually, surprise, I have two pieces of... Um, jewelry that glow. Um, <coughs> okay. This is the first piece. I have not had this checked out by a jeweler. The chain possibly could be gold. I don't know. It don't matter. I don't know. I, that that takes too much of my time to go and do all that now. Angel says I'm one quarter Czech. What is that? Czech of a Slovakia. I can't say that. Word. So I love them. Oh yeah, they're they're really cool. This piece here, this yellow 
big yellow, big yellow colored stone. Um, and it has this um, block. I don't know if you can see it there. I wonder if I put a piece of um, white paper behind it. I don't know if that will help it or not, but we'll try. So you can see the, it, it's got like a chain link block. I don't know. It's really a neat chain. There you go. Maybe you see that. Really a neat chain. Yeah, I can see that. You see that like that? Mm hmm And then let me see if I can turn this around. And then the uh, pendant. I can, why is it all, everything I want to go backwards? Looks like this. And the piece above it, it sort of reminds me of Black Hills Gold, the top above it. It's sort of a, a rose colored and green. Um, really pretty. I don't, and I, I, I don't think, I don't want to give the impression that I think it's gold because I, I don't think so, but it is very, very pretty all the way around. And if it is, then, Hey, you're lucky. But let me find like, I don't like, know what Angel <laughs> called it. Precious love, but who is it? Citrine. And uh, Angel said Citrine. Uh, you know, I don't know unless Citrine glows, uh, because the swing glows. We can get the light for me, Mom. <clears throat> Let's give Mom a minute. She's, you know, old and it takes her a second to jump. And on. she's got one shoe on. And she only has one shoe on. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't ask questions. I, I don't know. I'm going to lay it on this uh, mannequin body here. Sorry, I'm a little dark right now, guys. But I want you to be able to see this nicely. It is really pretty. Let me get it on this little thing here. Where did my oh, God. I don't know. You were you were busted a move over there. I'm telling you, she ran to that light, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here it is on the little mannequin. Uh, you gotta find it. There it is. Really, really pretty uh, glow to it. I'll get it up closer. Where's it at? There it is. Beautiful piece. Yeah, it glows great. Uh, mom 75. Oh, was I supposed to tell that? I don't know, but she don't care. 75, five, two on a good day. <laughs> but yeah, really pretty piece. We're going to start this one out at 35 guys, $35 for this necklace. It is beautiful. Very probably, beautiful. Uh, probably wants to know if it's marked. Um, you know, I didn't even look for that. <laughs> I just waved my black light across the uh, uh, cabinet of jewelry and it, it glowed at me. And I was like, whoa. I don't see any markings on it. It's got a really neat clasp right here on it. Kind you push in and unhook it. I'm gonna start it at 35. Very, very nice piece. It measures um, from the top of the closure there to the end of the pendant, it is nine and a half inches long. Really cute little piece. Really dainty. The chain is really dainty. <clears throat> no long tutor. Crafty says 35. Looks like Crafty Jackie says, girl, I'm going to be 71 in October. Gabby and I'm 5 foot 1. <laughs> well, Jackie's called it yellow something. Scrap Scrapolite? Yellow Scrapolite. Um, I don't know. I googled it. Oh, cool. All I know is it's beautiful. It is really, really, I mean, it, it's really pretty stone. And it, it glows like crazy. Let's see if I can get the light back here. Can you hold that light out there like that, Mom, maybe? And let me turn it towards you. Yeah, I can't find the light. Gonna have to move it on it. 
No, can't do it. It ain't going to work. <laughs> it Mom's, like, right Mom's like, thank goodness, because I can't. Yeah, I know, but with it, when it comes to the light and you having it on and the light's right over top of it, have Jackie at 35. It's shining real good there. Yeah. It's, like I said, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. This is little girls and stuff. Just put together. Yeah, with the safety class, you'd think it's worth something with that safety class. And Polly, Polly says, I just turned 57. Hmm. And I just, this past April, I turned, what did I turn? 54. 54. Yeah, 54. Gabby's at 37. Oh, Belinda's at 40. Just imagine it. Little Joanne's at 52. Little black dress on. But this would be really pretty that because that pendant's really nice size. Let me measure that pendant. The stone in it is um, about a half inch um, long. Jackie, Jackie says cool people are short. Cool people are short. It's not quite it, not quite an inch wide. It's more oval shaped, um, but it is really really pretty. I wish I had a better camera to show it better because I'm telling you guys, it is, um, the cut on it is, when you look down into it, it's sort of got like a star cut, you know. Um, I show the back. Can you see the cut? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I can't keep these girls straight. What? Polly's project says she's 4'9". Oh, goodness, yes. I didn't mean that like that. <laughs> I think my sister, Tudor, she's only about, what? At the she, I don't even know. I don't even think she hits five foot. She's she's a, she's a shorty. Joanne uh, Precious Lavender Buttons is at forty one. I think I'm the tallest of the girls, ain't I? Yeah, I am. Uh, uh, I'm almost close. five six. Me and you are close to the same height. Precious Lavender Buttons. Uh, maybe she thought I thought she bid fifty two, but it's five foot two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So Ann is in, I just turned 29, Sam. I, I just turned 29. Sam's way, way, way older than me. Tudor is so full of it. How old is Tudor, Mom? Now, this woman does not lie. So how old is Tudor? <laughs> She's going to be 56. 56. She's going to be 56 on uh, um, August the 9th. And my other will, sister will be 59 Nine. on August the 7th. The birthdays are right together. Who's got this thing? Belinda or who? Uh, Precious Lavender has it. And I'm getting ready to sell it if no one else is in. Oh, I can't find it online. So and going once, there twice, 41. three times a lady sold to Precious Lavender Button for $41. Where's my pen at? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. It was hiding from me. Mm. You just write it up at the top there, Mom. Oh, it's the phone top of the page? Yeah, anywhere. It don't matter. And necklace. For $41. 41 to Joanne. To Joanne. All right. Do we want to give it a number like 511? Five six. Yeah, I mean we're about we're about the same height. <laughs> Tudor says you freaks. I'm five two. <laughs> mm. uh, I don't think she's even that tall. Yeah. We look over the top of her. I know that. I know I do too. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I have a son that is six foot seven. And I have another son that's what about six one, I guess, something like that. My first husband was six foot six. All right. Okay. Is that it? Next no. Oh, you got one more brooch. One more brooch. 
to sale. Now this brooch, it glows, it measures, oh, about two and seven eighths um, at its widest point. So that's basically all the way around it. It is an awesome brooch. I've showed it once before. Yeah, he's like six foot seven, and, I, and I'm, he's lucky if he weighs 195 pounds. He's really skinny, too. He didn't get that from me. <laughs> uh, we're going to do this one right here, guys. And she does glow. She's absolutely beautiful. Uh, she's got some light blue rhinestones, all prong set, and the green. Rivers, <laughs> Rivers, you you said it right first time, Angel, or uh, Angel. Gosh, you got me doing it now, Mom. Angel, um, <laughs> Ruder, that's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get back to your brooch okay mom says we've got to get back to the brooch yeah. but it's a glower now I've showed this once before and uh, I thought about keeping it and then I thought mm, what for uh, I mean I do wear some every so often and uh, but I know y'all would probably get a lot more pleasure out of it than me so especially after Joanne was telling me how she you know does doing the display with it and everything. This has just been laying in my drawer. So, um, and I know Belinda loves this kind of stuff. I've got to start this one out at $45 is where it's got to start. I'm hoping it does not end at 45 because if it does, I have, I'm going crazy, but um, we're going to start it at 45 There's got to be a way that we somebody could come up with, you know, and I've been thinking about it. You know, those little keychain lights? Why can't you wear them as earrings and just have them on? And just, you know, you could just, <laughs> there's got to be a way. Have like black light earrings and they flash down at your chest and you just move your head a little bit and it pops down onto your brooch, right? Am I crazy? I don't know. Probably, yes. It says Mom and Sam are lying on 5'2". You may be, Teresa. It's been a long time since I measured you. I don't lie. I still think she's barely five foot tall, if she is. A baby black light pin behind the brooch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Even that something. There's got to be something. I'll figure it out. I'm going to try to figure it out. But if I figure it out, everybody has to come and buy one from me, and they're going to be a hundred bucks a piece. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll probably give them to you. But yeah, really nice. Oh yeah, they they think I'm crazy. Because I, I, I am prepared for a state sale. I have a collapsible bag that I carry, and it comes up into a box. Joanne's at 46. And it has a handle on, you know, just like a regular purse. Um, Belinda's at 50. Yeah. And inside that is my lot of glasses that have lights on them, so I can see things, you know, because they're magnifying with lights on them. And then I have my blue light, and I have my eye. And Yeah, Polly says she brings someone with her to, to do it. Yeah. Oh. But it's like I tell mom, it's an estate sale. If you see it, don't worry about the price on it. don't matter. You grab it. <laughs> and then if we don't like it, we can always put it back. But it's not, our, it's, it's not ours until we pay for it. But just go ahead and get it. If you're not sure, pick it up. The loop is more of an attraction. Joanne's at 52. Oh, 
what are you doing? Hmm, wonder who found that one. Tudor found this one. Tudor, Tudor, Tudor. <laughs> what is that? What was that? Um, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Tudor, Tudor, Tudor. Belinda's at 55, yeah. Yeah, Tudor's got more, and I'm trying to get them from Tudor, but she does, won't release them. Does this have a treat or something I can give him? Is there any cat food up there? Just give him one little piece. It just She just wants to be pacified. Just give her one little piece. Because you can't give her much of anything because uh, she throws up. So she's only she's on a schedule so she can have one little something. And I know cat food's not good for any dog, but just one little sniglet is not going to hurt. Okay. Belinda, Belinda. Press Joanna's out. Belinda is at 55. Measuring tape, yes. I have the, one of the old measuring tapes. They're only It's only about the size of a half a dollar maybe and it's only about a, a half an inch thick but um it goes out to 25 feet or something like that which is usually long enough yes i have lots of them and i'm going to hoard them that's what she says to me every time i ask her trust me i call her on them all the time <clears throat> okay i'm getting the word sold put in so we're going once to Belinda, twice to Belinda, I'm trying to write at the same time, and we are going to sell it to Belinda for $55. That is everything for the gay guys, unless there's something you want to see or me to go back over or you have a question about. Yeah, the peacock. Oh, I seen that peacock brooch at, at uh, Patricia's last night. That was that was nice piece. Really pretty. Um, was there anything that anybody wanted to see again? Or anybody that came in late want me to go over things real quickly. I did have a few brooches that did not sell. <clears throat> Where are you? Where's? I don't know what you did. <laughs> okay, Gabby, I'll go back over a few things for you. Um, um, the courting brooch. Yeah, I'm going to start um, at one, I think. Um, we'll just go, I'll go through them really quick. If there's something you want, just type in the number. And um, if if I don't tell you there's something wrong with it, it's because there's nothing wrong with it. Christmas in July sale. And that's at next week. Now. Next week. Christmas. My Christmas sale is next week. And then through July, I'll have a few little Christmas, uh, just sort of pepper, salt and peppered out through the whole thing. Um, but Christmas in July next week for me, um, hopefully I have enough items. Um, the red base. The red base. Gabby or whoever, anyone else also <clears throat> had the red, uh, Amberina stretch base here. It did not sell. It's $24 and it's number four. It is 13 inches tall. $24, number four. I had this bird here. It is in excellent condition. It is uh, Japan, New Orleans, uh, no chips, no cracks. It was $14. And it is number eight. Watch for numbers, Mom, if you would. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, uh, Joanne. I know you had a... Um, <laughs> Face um, I found a Christmas Santa brooch in the old thing goes. Gabby wants number eight. Dang it, Tudor. You're killing me. Oh. Gabby wants number eight. 
And then I had this littler bird, this little, sh sh I called it the little short bird because the other one was so tall, but it's like a little um, robin. It looks like a robin. It looks like a little, like a little robin. It's $12. It's number nine. $12, number nine. Gabby wants number nine. I got you for that one, Gabby. Number nine there. And then I love this piece here. I can't believe it did not sell. It is a black cat sitting on a mandolin, and it is an ashtray. It is made in Japan. It's $16. It's number 13. Oh, she says I'm lying, psycho. <laughs> I get a little crazy when it comes to jewelry and stuff. Bye, Effie. Are you leaving? Thanks for coming. $16, number 13. Judy left. Okay. I don't know if Judy left or not. Well, she's up here. Got to run by her one. Oh, she. Judy Reardon. Judy wants Reardon numbers. wants number uh, 13. Well, she's calling it 16, but that's how much it was. But I know what she meant. It, it, and Judy, Judy, you are wanting this one, right? Number 13 for $16. I know I was probably going through it pretty fast. It would look cute with an airplane in it. Yes, please. Okay. Sorry, Crafty. Yeah, I know. I mean, um, I know she wrote the price in. I, I'm probably talking fast and and everything, but that's okay. Uh, I don't do I, exact numbers and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even show those. Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot about the old maid cards, guys. I have this wonderful set of old maid cards. I'm sorry. It's Miss Pam. My friend Pam's here to pick her dog up. But it's an old maid card from 1968. She's like, stop, stop, stop. 1968 old maid cards. And um, you guys, her stuff, they, they glow. They have like a, a, a glow on them. On some of the little items. Hi, Miss Pam. Jilla. Hi. And this is them. There are 40 here. It is a full set. I do not have the box. You may want to let her go potty. She hasn't been out for a couple She wouldn't hours. go out while ago when Alan came in to get them. Okay. Look at that. Winning weenie. Um, they're $12 for the set. Number 16. $12. Number 16. Good night, Tudor. See you later. Twelve dollars, number sixteen. If anyone is interested in that, yep, Barbara. Barbara Amundo. Amundo. I have you for number sixteen. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time? I did. Good. Show mom your hair. She's got the hair I want. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yep, you'd get yours cut off with that blanket, didn't I? <laughs> Would she get? Up? Can't give up. Oh, uh, uh, bird cards. Oh yeah, she was wonderful. She got sick the first night, but she she was okay. I just think she overate. Oh, you didn't overfeed her at all, Alan. Oh, okay. Alan always overfeeds. This little set of cards here, they are the uh, Congress cards. Um, excellent condition, uh, printed in Spain. They, do you remember what they were? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, they were 
14 dollars and they're number 17 yeah whining Wanda oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry Angel said Alan can overfeed her <laughs> I'd let him. <laughs> you just got to put up with the rest of it. $14, number 17, if you're interested in these cards. Okay, Sam, did you see it one at the end? Yes, I got you, Judy, for the ashtray. But she wants it sent to... When it's sent to... D. D. Thrill the Thrift D. Thrill the Thrift. Yeah, D. Thrill the Thrift. That's what I said. Why? What is, did I say wrong? <laughs> so it's thrifty and thrill or something you said. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yes, I got you, Judy. I'll send it to D. Not for our rose. Not again. Okay. I love you and thank you. <laughs> this is Miss Jade. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her. You're such a pretty baby. Jade. Oh, and then. It makes Casper jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Come here. Oh, I can get a hold of you. Oh, Casper, you're getting too chunky. And then this is Casper. That's my baby. He got, he got so jealous. It's going to be 10 o'clock in my before I get pizza. Oh. oh. <laughs> <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. All right. See you later, girl. Have a good one. You too. You busy tomorrow? I'm wrapping, packing, All invoicing. Right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. And then I have the two typewriter tins. They were um, $12 a piece. And they are number 18, if you'd like them. I love the one with the gazelle on it. It's really cool. And then this one is the cream and green. I like that. Aren't they just so cool? They look so cute. Um, girl planter. Girl planter, yes. Oh, really cute. Girl planter. Uh, made in Japan. $14. Number 20. She's in really good condition, you know, for Japan piece. They'd always get a little piece of paint here and there. But she is $14, number 20. Yeah, I like my puppies. And then I got two cuties, too. Let's go with the pink elephants. Okay. And then I have these pink elephants. They are going to now be $8 each. I had them at $10 each. Now they're eight. Number 23 and number 24. Number, this is number 23, the one standing up on its hind legs. And number 24 is this one here, just standing normal. $8 each. Number 23 and number 24. What kind of dog is Casper? Casper is a wiener dog. It's a Dotson, long haired Dotson. <clears throat> Some of my favorite kinds of dogs, I think. Except for the English pointers. I do like a good English pointer. The orange fruit. Right there. Then I had these little uh, anthropomorphic salt and pepper. They do. They are stuck together, and they're supposed to be little fruits. And it, on the side of its head, there it says Gary, Oklahoma, Japan. And they do have a little paint loss on them. Fourteen dollars, number twenty-seven. 
$14, number 27. And they do have a little paint loss, but that comes with age. But they are really cool. Crafty Jackie wants number 27. Oh uh, yeah, I would love to have an um uh one of those the, like the uh, Auburn brown that you're talking about, um, the yellow book. Um, but Casper, I rescued him from a place that had him and couldn't take care of him. Have the Jello book. It was uh, let me find it. Twenty nine. Oh, that's why I can't find it. I'm not on the right page. Am I? It was $12. I can do 10 on it if anyone would like it for $10. It's number 29. Who's leaving? Here she finally says, bye, Terry. Bye, bye Terry. Good night. Sweet dreams, everyone. So nice to see you guys. Terry Candelo. Bye, Terry. But I, I'm not seeing it. Online. Oh, there it is. Okay, I do now. Gosh, I'm really lagging. Number 29, $10 for the Jello book. And then I have the little Chef Salt and Pepper Shakers. They have their little stoppers on the bottom. I'd say they're probably Japan. Uh, they were $14. I can mark them to 12 If you would like those for $12 now, number 33. $12, number 33. Oh, no. Casper thinks he's the boss all the way around when any dog is around, no matter the size or anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, a little brown cocker dog here. Cocker Spaniel was 14. I can mark him to 12. He's number 34. Excellent condition. Mark him to $12. Number 34. And the black and white dog here is the pointer. He's also in excellent condition. He is Japan. He was 14. I'll mark him to 12 as well. Number 36. And then I have this dog here. It's the blue and white dog. He was 12. I'll mark him to 10. <coughs> Number 36. Casper. Don't talk back. Don't talk back. He's ten dollars, number thirty-seven. Oh, I don't know who that is. I'm gonna go ahead and show your things, Mom. Um, these two little boxers here, there were fourteen. We're gonna mark them to twelve, and they're number seventy-nine or seven? Seventy-seven, sorry. <clears throat> Yeah, they were 14. They're now 12. You get both of them for $12, and they're number 77. And then Mom had this little uh, cat brooch. It was $12. We'll mark it to 10. It's number 79. Ten dollars, number seventy-nine, and his little tail moves. Ten dollars, number seventy-nine. What else do you have, Mom? Oh, right here. 
I don't know. This other. little dog planner, it was $14 and it's number 73. My chat quit. Mm. Did this one sell? My, mm. my chat hasn't moved ever since. Okay. Um, and then I had this one here. We're asking 22 as a starting bid on it. It's number 74. Let's see if refresh on her. Trying to go down through here. And then we had the uh, watermelon towel and the red apron. It was um, $16. We'll do 14 and you get both the watermelon towel and the red apron. Um, and that is number 75. What did you mark it for? 14. 14. The other two towels sold. Gabby yeah. says she'll buy the towel. What do you want for just the towel? Uh, seven. I make it half of what it was. Since it was too painful. Mom said seven. Gabby, you want the towel for seven? She says, okay, we'll get you the towel for seven. We'll lay the apron to the side. Does anybody else just want the, the apron for seven? This That was Gabby that took it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just wrote towel only, $7 to Gabby. If there's anybody interested in the sheer red uh, apron, I'll sell it for seven. This piece right here. L I'll page. Take the mm -hmm. apron. Apron goes to L page for seven. I'm just gonna write that on there up as well. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you very much. <sighs> Perfect. <clears throat> I think that was all your items, Mom, right? What about that thing here? Did you tell us? Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I, I did show this one, didn't I guys? I uh, fourteen dollars number seventy three. Did you want to go down on that any or just well, stay sure. there? Twelve dollars. Mom will go twelve dollars on this little planter here. Mom's like, well, sure. Number seventy three for twelve dollars now instead of fourteen. Yeah, Roxanna, I will. I'll show you that. <laughs> Terry didn't leave. Nope, Terry's still here. She's probably bouncing back and forth doing things. Okay. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I got one person that wants to see something else. The Jello book. Yeah, it's right here. Um, this is the outside spine of the Jello book. This is the inside. Now, when you open it to this page here, it is coming loose. This is what I said. You may have to need to glue that back. Put some little Gorilla Glue in there and then just shut the book um, and let that uh, re-glue itself back up. I can't remember the number I had on that Jello book. Oh, Jello. It was number 29 if you want it, and I have marked it down to $10. Uh, Roxana, it was 12 and I've marked it down to $10. Yes, please. Okay. Number 29. 
Roxanne Sellers. Yeah, it's not in bad shape at all. You know, the spines come loose. And also you get these two little extra pamphlets with it, which you can keep for yourself or give to a couple of friends. And it's full of, they're both full of recipes as well. It's 1974. Yellow book. What was number 74? No, it was the year 1974. Oh, that's what I said. Boy, I missed that. Yeah, <laughs> it was really, yeah, those two little extra sheets. They're nice little gifts to give somebody, you know, just to if you send them a card or something, just sort of pop that in there. They're really, really cute little things, too. And that little blue Fenton thing, did it show? Mm, no, I didn't. Yes, the blue one sold. The pink one did not. Oh, okay. The, this pink little bowl here did not sell. We're going to, it's number, uh, it was number 44 in pink. Uh, I had 14 on it. I will do um, 12 if you are interested in it. Number 44. $12 now. Oh, they want more. Oh, hand me that. Um, I have a piece of Murano that was a oh. surprise. It's a heavy piece, isn't it? Uh, not overly heavy. I'd, I'd say it probably weighs just right around. Barbara. Barbara Mundo wants mm -hmm. the pink one. And what did you have on that? Um, 14. 14, but yeah, we marked it to 12. Oh, okay. I'm not 100% of it's Fenton or not, Barbara, so don't purchase it with in mind that it may be Fenton. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's got the Fenton look to it, but it is it's a very pretty piece. And then I had did a surprise piece of a piece of Murano bowl. Really, really nice, nice piece. We had did an offer up on it. Uh, let me look here. At $35. If anyone is interested, I would sell it for straight up $35 uh, for the Murano piece. Very, very pretty piece. It does have some of the bubbles that have popped in the glass. You'll feel some rough places in here a little bit. And that's just where when they pulled the glass and stretched that, um, it just popped the bubbles in it. Yeah. It's, right, Barbara. It, it, whoever makes it, don't matter, does it? It's still a really pretty piece. But this one is 35 for the bowl. It does have the nice um, mm, polished pummel on the bottom. and has the uh, flakes in it like Murano has. $35 on it. And it was number 56. So if you're interested in it, $35, number 56. And it goes five, they sold. <clears throat> yep, sold. <clears throat> is that it? That is everything, I think. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about anything, if you go back and you look at the video and you see something that didn't sell, you're interested in it, you can always email me on it um, and I will um, get back to you and we'll we'll get it sold to you if you want it. I'll be back again next week. Next week is going to be Christmas in July here and hopefully I can get it all pulled in together. It's, you know, Christmas sort of put back in a way for now. But thank you very much for everyone being here. I appreciate it. I know it's a holiday and your family's in and all that's going on as well. Uh, but I figured there was a few of us out there that uh, still wanted to do a sale. And so I can I stayed here with it. Um, so next week, same time, same place, guys. Have any questions, email me. Let me know. If you're looking for something uh, special, let me know. I'll see if I can 
find. I go to a lot of different places. But see you next Sunday. Bye, guys. Good night, everyone.